Excuse me. Are we live? I think so. Are we? Hey, everybody. Happy Sunday afternoon. Before we get into this live stream, can we please uh, get an affirmation <laughs> that we can be seen and heard properly? Just so we're not talking into just like a camera. We're not talking. Is, it, the, is the camera plugged in? <laughs> yep, it's plugged in. We're just, we're just, we're just a couple of mouths moving here. Yep. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> can see and hear you Excellent. fine, okay. says Andrea. Woohoo! Right. Well, on that note. Good, says Alex. Welcome, everybody, to a, sort of an impromptu, casual Sunday afternoon live stream. It's uh, May 1st. So that means it's May Day, right? This is the uh, it's May first May I'm Day. I'm pretty sure May first is May Day, not like May Day, May Day. We're going down, but like May Day, yay, da da da, dance around the, the dance around the May pole, pole, kind of. Yes, no. I don't know. You know? Maybe <laughs> you might be right. Dancing around the maypole. I'm not losing my mind. It's like it's a British thing. I think right? you lost your mind a long time ago. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. As did I. Um. Yeah, maybe. That's I don't not, know. Someone in the chat might know. Uh, yes, it's May Day, says uh, Devetta. Yeah, yeah. You dance around the maypole with the streamers and all the girls yeah. have pretty little flowers in their hair. And it's okay. it's yeah, the yeah. spring. It's the spring is here, right? So Sounds good. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> anyway, happy May Day, everybody. Uh, we thought we would have some fun with the ball winder today. We would make some magic balls, and if you're new to making magic balls, you've never made them, you want some best tips and practices for making your own, um, that's what we're going to get into today. So these, this is a great way to use up your scrap yarn and have a little fun with it. So there's a lot of things you can do with your leftover yarn, obviously. You know, you can um, use it for tiny little projects, ball up, put it back in your stash. Um, depending on how much is left from a ball after you've worked on something it was originally intended for. Sometimes if you have a little bit left, you might stuff it into a little jar or a little bag or something and use it for stuffing if you like to make little toys and whatnot. And I have a special jar set aside for just that. If it's really, really small scraps, um, they typically go in my stuffing jar. But every once in a while, you're left with, you know, half or less of a ball of yarn and you don't really know what to do with it. And they kind of wind up accumulating in the stash. So I haven't made too many magic balls um, in the past. I've made a few just because they were kind of untangled from previous projects. I just kind of kept it all together. But I've not actually devoted time to winding my own magic balls. And I really want to try that. I want to try a few different techniques. And I thought we would hang out together and do that this afternoon. Mr. and Stitches is going to... Uh, Humor, humor me. <laughs> I'm going to humor you and I'm going to read out Super Chats and Milestones. And Milestones, okay. So the first milestone is from Diane Sharp. Hi, Diane. Who has been a longtime Silk member. Uh, love you, Jada and Mr. <laughs> and Stitches. Thank you. Glad you could make it today. I know it was a little last minute, but it's raining. So, you know, can't do yard work if it's raining, am I right? You know, it's kind of, you have to come inside and... And, do uh, some indoor stuff, right? Yeah, that's right. That's a must. <laughs> this is this is my excuse for this afternoon. I have all these accumulating little odds and end balls of yarn. I should really take the time to neat them up and you know put them to some good use. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make some magic balls. Sounds <laughs> it's great. A chore, and we'll right? hang out with everyone at the same it, it, time. It's a chore. I'm technically cleaning up and organizing. A right? chore <laughs> in quotes. I know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You tricked me into working for you while you play. That's what's going on here. He's smarter than you me. get to play with yarn, and I have to like sweat and like work, and uh -huh. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to get some chocolate out of the. You're trying, trying, to, you're trying to get a little bit of uh, a little bit of support. So I'm gonna I'm continuing with our milestone. Okay. This, is, uh, this is from Cherry. Cherry hey, says, Cherry. "Hi guys, can't wait for the fun." <laughs> Well, hopefully it'll be fine. Hopefully it already started, this, this but I'm not be, sure. This could be a disaster. I don't know. That thing might fly right off the table. Well, I've got it. I've got it anchored as 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 well but as I could. Do you have the table anchored? But the table is not anchored. Is the house anchored? I don't know. Is this room anchored? Because <laughs> we don't know. We might be uh, we might be taken off into space. I'm not this, anchored. This is going to be like a yarn winding. 
marathon. This is this is going to be a, a quite the extravagant. Yes. I have quite a bag of yarn here, so we're, we're going to see what we can mm -hmm. what we can do with it. That's one of the big beautiful baskets. It is. Yes, I love these. And yes, we have a tutorial. Yes. If anyone asks. Um, this is one of the things that if you're mixing yarns together how it ends up looking. So I mixed three completely different variegated um, kinds of yarn together to make this basket and it ends up looking really pretty. So my hope is that um, I'm going to get a similar effect with some of these um, colors that I want to wind together. Um, so yarn winding, it's, if you're going to make magic balls, um, whether you're you know, just trying to clean up the stash or you want to have some fun or you even have a special project in mind, I think there's a handful of tips that we all should keep in mind when we're doing this. So one, try to keep your yarn weight all the same. So if it's, if it's a, a lot of yarn that's left over, like a size four medium weight yarn like I have, try to keep your yarn weight the same in the ball. That way you won't have variations in stitch size or tension when you go to use the ball a little later on. Ooh. I think that's a bit brighter. Yeah, that's nice. Now I can really see what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> um, so keep try to keep your yarn weights the same. So if it's a size four that you start with, try to keep using size fours throughout. Uh, or medium weight yarn. Now, obviously, you know, we talk about this, not all yarns in the same weight category are the same, but you can sort of see when you pick it up and feel it like how similar they all are. So try to keep your weights the same. Try to keep your fibers the same. I think this is possibly even more important than keeping yarn weight the same in one magic ball because fiber, fiber can change everything. So fibers don't all wash or dry the same way. Um, they don't even sometimes crochet the same way. You might find that some of them are a bit sticky or a bit more um, like they kind of like wool, for example, has sort of teeth in it. And it, you might find that that slows down your crocheting or tightens it up or uh, wants to uh, mesh together or felt together. And then if you switch to a cotton in the same ball, the cotton might move a little smoother, a little quicker. Anyway, if you if you mix up your fibers, you run the risk of having the yarn uh, project shrink or felt or some of it will will shrink and some of it might stretch. So you don't want to mix your fibers together in a magic ball, <clears throat> especially if you intend to possibly make something to give away. So keep your fiber content all the same. If you start with acrylic, keep it acrylic throughout. If you start with cotton, try to keep it cotton throughout. Um, keep your yarn weights the same. So if you start with a four, continue with a four. Uh, likewise, if you start with a, a super bulky size six or seven, try to keep the same yarns. And um, knotting. So depending on the fiber you're using, different joining methods may work. Some will work better than others. My favorite way to join in a new ball of yarn or join in a new strand is just to, to do a really tight little knot. Um, and in this case, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the little knot process. I'm going to snip the ends really, really small so that it's it's barely a knot that you can see, um, as opposed to leaving tails and working over top of it. Because I don't really know what I'm going to do with this magic ball. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to do what if you if you've got a ball of yarn, you buy a ball of yarn from the store, and you're working through it, and every once in a while you come into a knot. Sometimes there's a, an actual uh, intentional knot in a brand new ball of yarn. It's just because that's where one long strand finished while they were winding the, the ball of yarn and they had to tie in another one. So there's actually a tiny little tiny knot. Um, those are the knots I'm going to use. If you're using wool and some other natural fibers, you can try what is often called the Russian join or the invisible join, where you sort of like you create a loop at the end of your yarn and then you bring the other yarn through that loop and then you take the ends and weave them back through the yarn that they came from. Um, and that tends to work better with wool, I find, than some other yarns, uh, mostly because the wool has teeth on it. And so the, the yarn strand will grab hold of the other yarn and you won't have little ends hanging out. Um, it's a really nice join. It takes a little longer to do. It's very neat and tidy, but I find it doesn't necessarily work with all yarn types. Uh, for example, I find they tend to want to slip out on acrylic, um, even some cottons, like if it's mercerized. But... It's a good it's a good join for wool um, and and any kind of natural fiber that has like little tiny teeth in it like wool does. Um, so that's 
you know, a couple ideas for joining. I'm just going to go with knots. Knots are fast. And I know that if I do it tight enough, they're not going to come undone. Um, and I, I'm not going to probably use this magic ball for anything like that I would worry about the knots showing. So if I'm making like a big granny square blanket or something, the odd little knot, you're not even going to notice it. But if I was going to make a baby blanket or something that was a little more delicate, I might want to stay away from those kinds of projects because I wouldn't want like, you know, little knots to be felt in a, an otherwise delicate and soft kind of piece of, of fabric, like a baby blanket or baby booties or something. So uh, a couple of tips. I'd like to read out some milestones. Sure. So this one is from Danielle, says, great tutorials, my favorite crochet channel. <laughs> Thanks, Danielle. Um, milestone from Quinnell, who's been a Silk yeah. member for 37 months. Yes, yes. Uh, love it here, says Quinnell. <laughs> Big thank you to Quinnell. Thank you. Um, Caroline has also been a alpaca member for 22 months. Thank you. Has the chocolate bunny been eaten? <laughs> you know what? We were going to. You, okay, I'll let you answer that one. We were going to get into the chocolate bunny and we kept meaning to and kept meaning to and kept meaning to, but I want to take pictures. And every time we meant to get into it, it was already dark <laughs> and I couldn't get the lighting right. We did get into the little bunny. We got into the little bunny. We, we, the little we had a couple of little anniversary ones, ones. Mm -hmm. but we didn't get into the big boy. The big guy is still sitting there in his box. Yes. So I want to take pictures. I want to take a picture of it in the box. I want to take a picture of it out of the box. I want to take a picture of it getting out of its wrapping. And then I want to take a picture of like me you know, eating it. <laughs> yes. And, and also like <laughs> a couple pieces taken out because I want to see how thick it is. And uh, I want it, I want it, I want to take pictures. So I haven't gotten into it yet. To be perfectly honest, I'm a little bit intimidated by this. I'm not. Of this rabbit. I've been eyeing that thing you salivating for like how long have we had that? A couple of weeks now. Maybe. A few weeks, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so membership milestones. This is from Vima. Hey, Vima. Vima says, love your look. I have started my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for the inspiration. Congratulations. That's great. I love you so much. So happy to be here. Oh, thanks guys. Awesome. This is wonderful. Um, I know it was a bit of a thing, but it started raining and that kind of changes we, your plans on a Sunday. We will so. do our best. We know we know sometimes the image is a little bit blurry, but um Don't that's worry. just the way it is it's at not, the Jade and Stitches show. Yeah, we're not gonna be we're not gonna be doing anything that requires like a really good 4K clear sharp image today. So no. uh, that's just is, for tutorials. This is just, just for tutorials. <laughs> A uh, big thank you to Ayla, Ayla, who has been a Silk member for 31 months. Thank you. Thank you from Phoenix, Arizona. I have plastic a plastic winder, and I still need to learn how to attach it. Thank you for showing splicing and knotting methods. Oh, you're welcome. We actually have a video on simply knotting in yarn. It's an old video, but it holds true because it's still the same way that I do it. Um, so we can, we'll put that in the, in the description box after or a little later. So if you're looking for that, we can include that below. Um, and we've never actually done a video on the Russian join or the invisible join method, because I don't typically use a lot of wool. And like I say, I find that one works best with the wool, but sooner or later, maybe we'll do one because it's kind of a cool technique. And if you do use a lot of natural fibers, it's a good one to have, especially if you don't want little tails kind of hanging out of your work. But that said, let's get into winding. I've got a great big ball of bag of yarn here and it's it's everything. So I've got some variegated colors. I've got some solid colors. I've got some old balls of yarn that are already kind of knotted together that I might take apart. I think what I'm gonna do, I had thought you could do sort of a, I think, I think the traditional magic ball is that you just sort of like put everything you want to rewind into a basket next to you and you just reach in and you grab a, a, a bar and you just use whatever you grab. So you don't necessarily plan it out. You just kind of whatever comes next to you, you work it in. <clears throat> I'm going to, I'm going to play with that concept a little bit. I'm actually going to plan the colors as though I was making my own, self-striping yarn cake. I think I want to I want to plan out the colors a little bit so that they kind of mix with each other nicely um, so that I still get sort of a random striping effect with the wound ball of yarn when I turn around and use it in another project. But I like the colors and I don't feel that the colors are too jarring or too crazy. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose some colors and then I'm gonna start winding them together that way. 
So like I said, I've got a little bit of everything in here. Um, I've got some dark colors. I've got some bright colors. Um, I've got like, this one is a crazy bright, already variegated. Um, actually, it's not quite variegated. It's more self-striping, but it's very short stripes. Like there's not, like the color changes really quickly. Yeah, the color changes pretty quickly. Like you might get two or three stitches out of one bit of color before it changes again. So that's that's a really crazy ball of yarn. Um, so I'm just gonna put that there. That's another one. That's a self-striping ball of yarn. Those are really nice, like, that's already a nicely colored ball of yarn. And there's quite a bit of it. I've just never used it for anything. So I thought I might like kind of chop it up and, you know, splice in some different colors just to sort of see how that looks. Well, we'll see. Um, I'm going to start with some bright colors. So I've got a yellow, that's a solid yellow. And I've got, is that wool? That might be wool. I don't want to mix my wool in. Yeah, I think that's wool. That's acrylic. This is wool. So I'm going to keep that to the side. And there's a peach. Big thank you to Kim, who has been a channel member for two months, Alpaca. Thank you, Kim. Thanks for the milestone. Glad you could make it. There's another bright color. Mm, maybe not. And I might use that. Okay, so this, you know what, I'm going to mess with that. Yeah, that looks good. Anything else that's bright? I think I'll leave the white out of it. Digging in your little uh, toy chest, eh? This might, I'm not sure. I will consider that. Okay, so start simple, shall we? All right, I'm going to need a pair of scissors. A yarn needle. <laughs> you hear that a lot. I you? hear that a billion times a year. <laughs> I don't think I need a yarn needle just yet, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, so this is the tail end of a ball of yarn that was self-striping, and most of what it's, is left is the orange. So I'm actually going to snip off the blue, very tiny little amount, and I'm going to put that aside and possibly use that for something else. So I'm going to focus on that kind of sunny orange color. I've got a very pale yellow. I've got a nice soft coral. I've got a nice bright pink. I think those three together will be a very, like, I think those blend nicely together. And, you know, sometimes it helps to just sort of squish them all together and take a look at it and go, yeah, yeah, that all kind of looks like it, it, it mixes nicely. So I'm going to definitely use those. And the other question is, do I go with this green? I feel like this green doesn't really complement. I think it almost washes out the yellow a little too much. So I'm gonna say no to the green and I'm gonna say no to that one for now. Let's focus on these four. Okay, so I think what I wanna do is- Let's get started. I'm going to split them all in at least half, if not thirds, because I want an even-ish distribution of the colors throughout the ball. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this bright pink and I'm going to go in, in shade. I'm going to go like sort of from dark to light because I really like the way that looks. And I'm just going to weave in what I think to be maybe about a third of what's left of this little ball of yarn. So that's, that's enough. And now I'm going to knot in coral. So all I do for knotting is I just, I take the two ends and I put the two ends together and then I tie a little knot. I just sort of like make a loop, bring the little two ends through the loop. And then I try to push that knot as close to the little ends of the tails as I possibly can. And I pull on each strand individually to tighten it up. And then I pull them apart to make sure that it, that little knot's not going to slide anywhere. That's really in there tight. And then I'm just gonna trim up that tiny little end. I'll put that to the side. And so now I've got a tiny little knot that in a larger project like a basket or you know a bunch of granny squares or something isn't gonna be very noticeable. So now I'm gonna do a little bit of this, about what I think is a third of what's left. Yeah, a little more. 
Okay. I have very little of some of these colors and a lot of others. So for example, I think I, that's the pale yellow I think I have the most of. So now I'm gonna turn in this orange. Same thing, I'm gonna make that as tight to the end as I possibly can. Trim those little tails off. There we go. And keeping a little tension on it while I turn it. Oh, I already like the way this is looking. It looks a bit like fire. This is all going to get knotted up. So let's. Kathy says, I've been watching you for quite a while, but just recently bothered to sign in. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> yeah, I think the last time we were live streaming, we mentioned that we we our our um, the information that we can get on our channel, our what they call analytics, tells us that something like seventy percent of the people who watch at any given time aren't subscribed or signed into YouTube. Seventy percent of regular viewers, yeah, regular viewers are not subscribed, which is which is really something. So if everybody actually subscribed, we might have like somewhere near a million subscribers. <laughs> subscribe, cool. subscribe. I, I understand why, you know, yeah. it's, um, you have to set up an account and do, 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 do. Who wants to do another email and password? Yeah, I get it. You, but this internet has made us all email and password in, into oblivion. I think I'm going to unwind this a little bit. Cause it sort of slipped down the edge. Oh yeah, I see. All right, let's try that again. <clears throat> oh, it still wants to slip down the edge. That's funny. Why does it want to do that? Nana is definitely subscribed while well, you're a channel member, so for sure you're subscribed. <laughs> All channel members are, are uh, auto-subscribed, I believe. Yeah, I think in order to be a channel. Okay, so that's that's okay. So now I'm back around to the dark pink again. Are you doing yarn math? This is this is yarn math. Jada's doing yarn math. Angel says I'm subscribed. Thank you. Take a take a moment to double check and make sure you're subscribed. Yes, please. Um, there was a question I wanted to read out, and I lost. It. Oh, I know. It was about our yarn winder. Yes. Okay. Um, where did we get it and what is it? It is a Knitter's Pride Rainbow Wood yarn uh, a ball winder or wool winder. And we got it from Mary Maxim. We were actually at Mary Maxim. Um, there's their location in Paris, Ontario. You can also order them from their catalog. Mary Maxim has one of the most delightful hobby catalogs I've ever had the pleasure of looking through. It's um, It's got all sorts of, of fun crochet and knitting and cross stitch and all, all kinds of, of hobby arts in it. And uh, we were there and they happened to have just gotten in a few of these. Um, and Mr. Stitch just bought me one for my birthday. So that was nice. Okay, I'm saving the rest for the final thing. And uh, Mama and Stitch has got one too. Um, they were there with us the day we went to visit. And uh, Mama loves her ball winder as well. In fact, <laughs> we went home. We, we each kind of went home respectively. And I can't remember who got into the ball winder first, but Mama absolutely like oh, of beat course, me to Of the course yard. Mama got into it first. No, didn't she wait? I, I think we got she, into it first. She but... waited because we were going to get into it at the same time, but then we ended up getting into it. But she ended up using it way more. Yeah, yeah. She was like, oh, She, she had spun already. a whole table full of yarn, and we were like, okay. just getting the box open. That's looking pretty funky yeah, already. Yeah, it's looking pretty. So I, what I've tried to do is just sort of eyeball... Um, however much I had left of these four different yarns, and I've tried to kind of go a third, a third, a third. Um, so I've tried to sort of break it up into thirds, and we'll see how well I did. <laughs> a big thank you to all our subscribers and all our members. Everyone's chiming in saying, I'm subscribed, I'm subscribed. Great. Thanks for checking, guys. Thank you for checking. Yes. We appreciate it. 
There is this strange little glitch in YouTube. Um, a lot of people talk about it, and um, no one's able to sort of figure it out. But sometimes people get unsubscribed mm -hmm. uh, to channels, and it's like <clears throat> automated, or it's like a glitch or something. Yeah, uh, I've been unsubscribed from stuff that I, I like from channels that I'm So have to. I. Uh, so no one's really sure why that happens. Um, internet squirrels, I guess, wearing little YouTube YouTube hats. <laughs> and they got badges that say YouTube employee, they're, they're, but they're, they're internet they're squirrels. They're posing as YouTube employees. They're posing as, as YouTube employees, and they're going in and changing things. <laughs> what is on the couch behind Jada? Um, well, there's a evergreen tree Jada made out of uh, yarn. Yeah, that was from There's a blanket. A uh, very pretty candy colored blanket and uh, maybe the little uh, the little chubby little chubby raccoon. That might be I can see that. But... That's about it. You want to show everyone your little chubby raccoon? Yeah, sure. Let me just finish off this little ball and we'll get to him. All right. So that's all four of those yarns. I'm just going to Tuck in that end, pull this up, and there we go. Okay, so that's a pretty one. So that is the dark pink, the slight, the coral, the slightly kind of orange color, and then the soft or bright yellow. And I tried to, um, I tried to separate it so that. Oh look, this is already trying to line on me. Don't you dare! Haha. -ha. Um, I tried to separate it into each ball into thirds. I just eyeballed it, kind of what looked like a third, what looked like a third, what looked like a third. And that one's pretty. This one is like, this is a warm ball. So there's, these are all warm colors. And it's just sort of that, that one end of the, of the rainbow spectrum. So I really like that. So that one I think looks really nice. And let me show you mischief. First magic ball. I don't know if you could, it's uh, one of those, um, what are they called? The, the boop or the TY, T.Y. Is it like a Beanie Baby? A it's, it's like I a, can't remember. It's like a Mega Beanie Baby. It's a Mega yeah. Beanie Baby. It's a, it's um, really cute little feet. Yeah, this is, yeah, he's got little feet. <laughs> it's a bean, it's a bean bag, but it's, it's kind of, he's so soft and he's so squishy that I typically use him as a, um, like a pillow or a <laughs> Think of a, uh, yeah, we got that at a really awesome store. In the mall. In, in a mall. In hiatus. In, in Massachusetts. Massachusetts yeah. somewhere. Hiatus. Was it hiatus? Yeah, it was hiatus. Yeah, and it was a it was a store in that the was um it was only those. No, no, no. There was just one whole wall of these. Oh, it wasn't it, all beanie baby no, stuff. No, it had like you know neat puzzles, and it was kind of one of those. Kind oh, of like stores. a toy, like the general toys. But it had a know. wall of big cube um cube shelving. shelving. That, that these were all sitting in their own little shelf and they were all different kinds. And I think I stood there for like an hour <laughs> trying, trying to decide choose, which choose one. one. To get. <laughs> uh, but I love raccoons. So I, I finally, I settled on mischief here, but he's very squishy and soft and comfortable. And I, I like to snuggle with him on the couch. He's always hanging out. Mm -hmm. Okay, ball number one. I'm gonna attempt ball. I'm gonna try a dark, a dark ball now. Awesome. And then after I've made a few balls, I might attempt to make something like, oh, I think that the real trick to, to enjoying these magic balls is doing something with like a graduating pattern, like a granny square where each row is a little bit longer, a little bit uses a bit more yarn so that the yarn kind of has a chance to, to stripe in an interesting way. Regina says, you need a squirrel. I do need a squirrel. I uh, think if they had had a squirrel, I would have gotten one. Yeah. D don't we have a, a ground chipmunk or something or a ground squirrel yeah yeah um, we do i we, think we do have one it's like a chip that's kind of like a mountain ground it's chipmunk. a mountain it's from it's, a, it's from alberta but, uh, from alberta yeah yeah yeah, yeah. they're chipmunks we'll, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to dig that one out, we'll out. <laughs> all right i've got brown i've got deep purple maybe that's a multicolored ball of yarn. Is anyone else winding yarn while we're winding yarn I mean, out there? 
Or working and on a project of some sort. Yeah. It's a nice Sunday share, night. Uh, share oh, in the chat, nice. everyone, if you're um, working on a project specifically or winding some yarn yourself. Maybe you're trying to undo knots. <laughs> I'll sit and That's do that. That's a big one. I'll sit and do that some afternoons. Just, Just sit and undo knots all afternoon. Yeah. All right. Do I include that? That's kind of does go with that. Let's see. I'm sewing in ends, says Jenny. That takes a while. I am on my 3D printed yarn winder. Oh, cool. You have a 3D printed yarn winder? Wow. That's awesome. That's cool. Well, we, we need to get a 3D printer. That sounds like it's a lot of fun. Yes, I think we do need to get one. I think that would be really I think fun. you need to purchase me a 3D printer. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> I want it to be huge though, so yeah. I can 3D print like you know you need furniture ones. and stuff. You, you need <laughs> you need multiple 3D printers because they all do they're all different sizes. They all do something different. Yeah. And if you're if you need to print multiple components, you want to do them all at the same time so that you're not because sometimes it'll take like 24 hours yeah, for, for a piece to print. I agree. I do need multiple ones. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> Boy, I should keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm enjoying this, I've, I've this live stream. Walked, I've just walked into two rakes in one second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I've got I've got two shades of purple. I've got a brown. I've got a blue that's kind of light. I've got, I think this is the same green, but just like separated from different projects. I've probably pulled a project. Of Anna color. asks, are you gonna are you gonna make something out of the yarn so we can see what it looks like? Yeah, I think if uh if I get a few balls done. Absolutely. And then I think I will make like a, a granny square or maybe um maybe one of those uh, little splendid spring sacks that, that I, I love like that. So yeah much. so we can see how it how it comes out. Yeah how yeah it turns out yeah sure. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll, I'll see try to decide. I don't know whether like the spring sack I love that it's probably perfect for a little project like this. Um, but then the, the, each row is the same, the same number of shells for a while. So it may or may not show the striping in the manner that I'm thinking it'll work out. But I know that a granny square, cause every row is bigger than the last row that will definitely kind of change how the striping happens. We'll see. We'll try a couple of different things. Um, okay. I'm going to, I don't know whether to pick four or maybe more colors this time for this slightly darker ball of yarn. This is greens and blues. This is a variegated ball of yarn. This has got purples and greens and kind of a gray. And I'm not so sure that it really matches all the shades. Uh, maybe I'll keep that one back. But I think it might be neat to work in a variegated ball of yarn just to sort of see what happens. So I'm going to use some of this. I think I'll leave the brown out. But I will use the two purples, I will use this blue, and I will use this green. And I think this is the same green. So I'll just use up what's left in this ball. I have quite a bit of this by feel. I have the most of the dark purple, the second most of this, third. And these two are somewhat the same. Yeah, I think those are the same. Okay. <laughs> so instead of going in light to dark order or dark to light order this time, I think I'm going to kind of alternate. So I'm going to go with the purple and then the variegated, the light purple, the dark green, and then the light blue, and then repeat. So let's see. And there's quite a bit here. So I will do my best to get like a third of what I think that is in this ball. Big and, um, thank you to Cat Craft, who's hey, been Kat. a Silk member for 34 months. Hey thank guys, you. can you do a crochet example flowers or other motifs etc on stretched canvas type project appliques on stretched canvas oh like if you attach them like if you if you're like a painting canvas if you're going to attach like a like a mixed media project is that kind of what you mean i think i think that might be what you mean um yeah i like that idea a lot that's really cool I, I, I like mixed media projects. I've actually got uh, a work in progress um, that's a mixed media project right now that I will probably be showing you guys in a little while. It's sort of a personal thing, a little personal project. Kind of just for fun, but um, we'll see what you guys think of that. That's, that's coming later. <laughs> All right, so I did about a third of the dark purple. I'm gonna try and do about a third of this multicolored ball of yarn. 
I'm just watching it bounce around on the floor. Yeah, that's about a third. And now the bright purple. I was just remarking to, um, to Crystal the other day that I really like the color purple. I really like lilac and all the different shades that purple comes in, but I feel like I never find it that often. I don't see purple, I don't see a lot of purple yarns. I don't see a lot of purple clothes. I don't see a lot of purple items or objects at all. I'm just wondering if like, that's just maybe because it's currently not a trendy color or is that, do a lot of people find that? Like, is that, am I the only one that doesn't think there's a lot of purple around? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. That was a short run. Yes. Well, some of the, the balls get smaller and smaller. I'm trying to I'm trying to eyeball what's a, about a third. So Kat says, yes, glue the crochet pieces to canvas. Maybe use paint, markers, buttons, etc. for details. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So like a mixed media, yeah, mixed media. a mixed media blanket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like it's it's art. It's uh, modern art. Fire says, I love purple, but it's hard to come up with projects using purple. I just find I can't find it usually. Like, I just don't find purple yarn all that often. Okay, this yarn is just a little thinner, but it's kind of... <laughs> oh, look at that. That's, a, what is that, light blue? Yeah, it's a light blue. Isn't that pretty? That's a nice change. That looks neat. Yeah, that looks really cool. It almost looks like denim, like when you get a, oh, yeah. a denim, a pair of jeans or something, it's starting to have that look to it. Okay. Um, to big you. thank you to Nick, who's been a Merino member for two months. Hi, Nick. Nick says, hey, Jada and Mr., so happy to see you today. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining. Yeah. And thanks for being a member. It, it was, uh, like we said, kind of a... Uh, impromptu. A little impromptu. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that on a Sunday. We sent out our, our notice. Um, let us know if you got it. Um, if you're a channel member, um, because um, YouTube is constantly changing things on us, so we don't we don't really know when we send something out. We're not really sure if it's going out or not. Yeah, we so, don't know if it's arriving. Um, if you're a channel member, can you let us know if you received the community post notification today that told us told you about our live stream? And if you did, did you see it? on your app, like on your phone or tablet, or did you see it like in your email inbox? Uh, we're curious. Yeah, um, it, and also, it, do you still get emails? Because Yeah, and do you still get emails? Some people, I think, still see the emails, but uh, some people don't. So I'm okay, wondering. so we're getting some feedback here. Um, Marie says, yes, I got it. Um, Anne says, I got the notice. Um, Maggie says I got the notice. Okay. Um, Summer says I got both. So that would be post and email. Post so, and email. So the email is still working. Okay. Hmm. Great. Um, yes, I got it on my phone. Uh, I got it on my phone. I saw it on my phone. Okay. Great. Thanks for letting us know, guys. Uh, we were kind of... Sometimes we're wondering about things like that we, because we wonder a lot. <laughs> something that we want, we wonder constantly. Um, sometimes uh, we're not sure if it's gone out or if it's worked properly. But uh, great, that's good to know that it's working. And even uh, Crochet Renee says even even the email. Yeah, even the email. Yeah, so. I'm wondering if um, you had emails set up once upon a time, if you still get them, and it's just if you, if you know, if that option <laughs> became not available in like a little later on. I, I don't know. I'm giggling at Kim. Kim sent us a super sticker. <laughs> thank you, Kim. Big thank you to Kim for the super sticker. It goes mood, mood, like mood. <laughs> I think you might be able to see it from there. I'm not sure. Oh, mood. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Thank you to Kim for the super sticker. Summer says, "Yep, I got, I got, I get emails all the time from you, and okay. all knots, lol, <laughs> else is turned off, and all knots." All like notifications. Oh, all notifications. 
from everyone else is turned up. Is Summer saying we're her favorite YouTuber? Thanks, Summer. <laughs> it's a competition between Jada and Mr. and Stitches. Yes. Who's the favorite? <laughs> if I had to choose between Jada and Mr. and Stitches, I would choose Jada. Oh, you would? <laughs> You're, you're my favorite YouTuber, Gee, yeah. for sure. As he eyes the chocolate, uh, yeah. the chocolate bunny <laughs> over there, the on. mega chocolate. As, bunny. as he's busy, uh, busy googling three D printers for sale. Three <laughs> <laughs> D printers on sale. Shipping time. Shipping time. Um, a big thank you to Andrea who is an alpaca member. I love the live stream with the family. <laughs> and a, used one of our emojis. It's a fun way to spend uh, spend a little time. Yes. Hey, we have a new member. Big welcome to Raytrio. Raytrio. Wow. Or, I'm sorry, I believe that's a, a re-welcome. Re re right. Because um, I can tell by the badge. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes memberships renew while we're live streaming. That's cool. So that's what's going that's on cool. there. Yeah, we're learning as we Welcome go. Welcome back. Big thank you. Welcome back. I love the emoji. I love uh, Wraith Rio's um, little picture with the bunny ears. Little cartoon character with bunny ears. It's su super cute. I have a knot. Let's see if I'm going to be savvy enough to get rid of this. Oh. One. Shannon says, Jada is the best YouTube, and I love you both. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> yeah, you feel better now? <laughs> yes. I feel complete. <laughs> First little knot in the yarn of the afternoon. So let's see. One more. Ha. All right. I like this magic ball. This one's looking really cool. Hey. Yeah, it is. It's kind of starting to look like that, um, like those night sky pictures you we used to see in like the 90s. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Do you remember, the, remember the 90s? The 90s. <sighs> yep. <laughs> Wasn't that like five minutes ago? It was, yeah, it five, like minutes, five ago. minutes ago. That was yesterday. The <laughs> 90s were yesterday. Um, shout out to Carrie, who has uh, rejoined our Vicuña level. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you for being a member. Re-welcome. <laughs> a re-welcome to Carrie. Jessica Rabbit says, I still miss the 90s. Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't when they first finished. I was like, you know, you're, you're so busy with your, your life getting started and you're, you're busy. But now, like, my gosh, it was already over 20 years ago i just don't know how that's possible but it is <laughs> yeah between 20 and 30 years ago Yikes. it's like what? <laughs> this is not possible. This wow is possible. that is looking really cool yeah this is a neat ball purple and green and blue and just that. it might not show up on the live stream but I don't know. Maybe we'll take a few photos later or something. So Some nice close-ups. Hey, we got a super chat. First super chat of the night. No, Kimmy sent us a super sticker. That was a super sticker. Oh, okay. I see. So Kim, Kimmy was the first super sticker of the night or the afternoon. Oh, and Nick is the first super chat of the afternoon. Thank you. So okay. big thank you to Nick. Nick says... Here's some candy money for for you, Mister. Sorry, my face is my face is Jada. She taught me how my new obsession. Y'all are both awesome sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick is apologizing because he's putting you ahead of me. I'm, I, so I'm, you're number one, I'm and I'm favorite. number. So you basically get gold, and I get silver. That's that's what's going on here. Thanks, Nick. Well, Nick, thank you for the candy money. Yes, I'll, I'll make sure I spend it on candy. Thank you for being honest. Okay, so <laughs> thank you for your honesty. <laughs> I'm just gonna get these nice and close so you guys can see them so far. So this is the first one, and this is the second one. This one's almost a full oh yeah regular ball of yarn. That looks awesome. Isn't that pretty? I think that, that one really actually neat. looks a little more um, like it's got more depth to it. Yeah. Let's see the other side of it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see from the side again. Oh yeah. These are um, 
These are neat. I like that. I think I'm looking forward to trying both of them. I think those are both going to be kind of cool. Hey, we got a new channel member. Big welcome to Pink Tribble. Pink Tribble. Uh, the trouble with tribbles. Trouble with tribbles. <laughs> welcome. Pink Tribble has joined. Thank you and welcome. Pink Tribble says I would choose Mama and Stitches. So Mama and Stitches gets gold. I might try. Jada I might gets silver, and Mister and Stitches gets bronze. I, I have to say, for sheer for sheer entertainment value, I would probably pick Mama, just yeah. because you never ever know what's. You would pick Mama over me. Yeah, she's. Funnier. Is that what's going she's on here? She's a lot here? funnier to watch. <laughs> She's, she's I'm getting pushed aside for Mama and Stitches. Flat out wild. Yes, that is true. All right, uh, so that's two. Uh, you know what? I'm going to dive into just using one. So before I before I I, I I wind up another one, let's let's use one of these, and I think I'll <clears throat> we'll do two pulls. So while I sip a little bit of water, me to let's work, do eh? let's do pull number one, <clears throat> and we'll put a quick timer on these. All right. So which which ball of yarn will I get into? Um, the dark ball of yarn or the light ball of yarn. So which one of these am I gonna, I'm gonna experiment with first. Let's just get that going. And I think, you know what? Well, okay, gonna... which ball of yarn should Jada get into? So you wanna describe, you wanna say the one's light, light, one's the light dark. one and the dark yeah, one. So choose between the easier. yellowy, Yellowy um, coral and the purpley, purpley green. green. Uh, I've got more greens. I think you would call a green ball. Yes. Hey, this is fun. Oh, there's some black. While we're deciding on which of those I'm going to get into, I'm going to do, I'm, going to, I'm just going to jump right in and start doing another one. I've got more of that variegated self-striping greeny blue. I've got two different shades of green and I even have a little bit of black. So I'm going to mix these ones together and I'm going to do them in green, variegated, light green, black. So let's do that. This one will probably be pretty. Boy, the second you you start you start do, winding do, and then you, do, you don't really do, want to stop. <laughs> Plus, everything looks so tidy. I'm going to try and do about a third of this ball. Everyone's chiming in in the chat, but Excellent. chime in in the poll so we can see the uh, exact percentage. Well, that's about a third. Oh, what's that? That's a nice, rich green yeah. emerald. It's like an emerald green. More, more green. I'm going to do more of... I have a lot of this, this uh, multi-greeny blue... All right, the votes are coming in. We got 47 so far. Great. Keep them coming. We have 243 people watching. Okay. So let's let's try and get a let's try and get up to about uh, somewhere between 150 and 200 votes. Cuz we know that 70% of you are watching without being subscribed. <laughs> we know. We, can see we have our uh, we have our tricky ways to see the info. You should be able to um, to to to, come, to participate in the poll though if you're just watching. Like I don't um, know if you be subscribed. Do you? I don't know. Um, I think you have to be subscribed to comment. Yeah, you have to be in the chat, but comment. you don't have to be subscribed to watch. So I assume the poll works. Well, the like... poll might. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you can't chat unless you're watching. Yeah, you're right. You're yes. Right, you're right. Yes. Boy. That's what is I'm losing count here. What is that like four points for you so far this afternoon? I am just crushing it. Yeah. I am gonna get so many new toys I'm, this this week. <laughs> Clearly, I am just I'm gonna get new 3D printers, maybe a new RC car. <laughs> what? what else am I gonna get? Like a fan like a real fancy car. A real fancy car? Yeah, the okay. list is gonna go on and on. I can't wait for you to buy me all these things. <laughs> I can't wait to see where the money's gonna come from. <laughs> Your purse. My purse. Yeah. Oh, is that where it comes from? I know where the money's hidden. <laughs> I know where you hide it. We got 85 votes so far. Ooh. Come on, everyone. Cast your vote. All right, put a little a little time. Um, if you're I, unsure, I the, the, the little pool. vote box should be in the chat. At the top, I think. Is it? I think it's on the top of the chat box. Yeah. 
third. Woo, that looks cool. <laughs> so either tropical or Van Gogh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, pretty one much. One looks like tropical fruit, one like does, Skittles tropical does. fruit, and the other one looks like Van Gogh painting. Tropical fruit or Van Gogh. Those are the choices. <laughs> an EV car, yes, I'll take an EV car. I would I would take a brand new Tesla. I would enjoy that. So, uh, hey, wife, mm -hmm. wife, you can put that on the list of things to purchase. <laughs> I'm up to four things, right? <laughs> How come they're going up so like gargantually in value? In, in, in cost. <laughs> Started with a chocolate bar, <laughs> jumped up to a 3D printer, and now we're up to a brand new Tesla. Yeah, that seems a little. <laughs> it's jumping all over. That seems the place. a little off. <laughs> Joanna says, "Hey, Mr. Stitches, my husband has a 3D printer." Well, lucky husband. Wow. Yeah, I think more and more people have got. That. I think. We are going to have to, to look into these. I think they look really, they look, they seem really cool. Like, they do seem cool and fun. And fun. I do the third. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you for the reminder, Bionic, Bionic here, Bionicere. <laughs> um, click the like button. Oh, yes. Thumbs up. Uh, I'd like to shout out Patty, who has sent us, I believe, it's a re-welcome, a re-welcome to Patty, who's been a 12-month alpaca member. Thank you, Patty. 12-month alpaca. Thank you. We are up to 105 votes so far. All right. Well, call it off. I close it down because I do have one more poll I want to run before. Are, are we you end. sure? Yeah. yeah. All right. This is your last chance. You got 10 seconds, and we're going to shut it down. 10 seconds to vote. I also am, I'm not looking at how many times the yarn wraps around the ball. I'm looking at it on the ground. I'm sure you've seen me looking down. I'm watching to sort of eyeball a third, a third, a third as the ball itself unwinds because as this ball gets bigger, it's going to take more of the yarn to wrap around the entire spool. So if I don't want to look at that and, and kind of, you know, count rotations because it won't be an accurate third of, of what is approximately left in the ball. Okay, so we are um, turning off that poll, and okay. you said you wanted another one. Yes. Um, so this one here, do you want the results or do you want yes, to wait? Yes, I want okay. the results. So the results are which, which ball of yarn should Jada get into, the light color or the dark color? And the votes are for the light version, yellow. Coral. Okay, so that's the order. So started. 55 to 44. Wow, that was pretty close. Yeah, that is pretty close. Yeah. Okay, the next question I want to pull is should I do a granny square or the little sack, that little splendid shell sack that um that like little gift baggy looking thing? That's gonna be the, the little mini project that I launch into here to see All how right. much ball of yarn looks. Just nearing the end of this third. I'm trying to keep a little bit of tension on the yarn anytime I have to pause or I want to stop and you know tie in another yarn because I don't want it to get slack or slide down the um, the spool of the winder because I want to keep um, I want to keep that even um, spinning going on and uh, that the best way to do that is to keep a little bit of tension on it. So that was the other one was the um, split shell sack. The split shell, the, no, no, the um, the splendid shell sack. Oh, the one we just did, the spring shell. Oh sack. yes. All right. Poll is launched. Okay. There we go. It's nice to see all this yarn get like tidied up, even if I don't use it all right away. 
I've, I've, I've had a bag with all these little sort of odds and end balls sort of rolled up in it, sort of sitting to the side because I really wasn't sure what to do with them or where to store them. And <clears throat> oh no, you don't. <laughs> Caroline says both. There is no both in the <laughs> poll. You can't say both. You have to use the poll. <laughs> oh, wow, we got 76 votes already. Hey, all right. Whoa. Way to go, family. They're crushing that poll. <laughs> This is good. Okay, because as soon as this this is finished, we're gonna close that poll, and we're gonna I'm gonna start either of the little projects. So tie in this little bit of black that's left. I wish I had a coffee for our live stream today. Yeah, we kind of we kind of decided to to sort of live stream at the last minute so we didn't even have time to make a coffee. Boo. There we go. <laughs> Boo. Okay. Live stream without a coffee. No, it's like what a disaster. It's like a night without sleep. <laughs> All right. Oh, this one's pretty. I think adding in the black, that was really kind of a cool. Oh yeah. So that one looks awesome. One. Let's see it nice and close. You so, come a little closer even. Wow. Oh, I like that one a lot. So yeah, this one's got black on it. It's got that almost like bright kind of neon green. Um, it's such a light green. It's like a chartreuse. There's a dark green in it. And then there's some more of that, that um, strange sort of greeny blue variegated. So that's a nice one too. It doesn't have any purple in it. Holly, Holly says you could do a sack with the light yarn and a granny square with the dark yarn. <laughs> but now we have a whole brand new ball of a magic, a magic ball. So I don't know. I think this is great. I've made three magic balls just sitting here this afternoon already. So I'm really eager to get into, you know, one of the other and, and try a project. So um, you want to... Uh, let's see how many votes we have so far. And then I will pick a hook. We've got 94. So let's try and get to at least 100. Okay. Um, it looks like the sack is winning out by quite a bit. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. I do love sacks. So uh, I'm using the light colored ball, <clears throat> right? That's what the first yes, ball was. Yes, the light colored so ball. So this is the ball of yarn I'm using. Yep. And it looks like the, it looks like the sack is going to win unless people, uh, you know, really push for the granny square. Okay. Let see. Let's get those boats I've going. I've got a five and a half millimeter. So all of my yarn, in case you're wondering, this was all size four medium acrylic scraps um, that I've put together. And I do <laughs> think I had fun. one sort of wool blend in there, but I've kept it out because I, I don't really want to mix the wool, even a wool blend in with it because I'm just afraid that it won't play nicely. Um, once I, you know, maybe go to wash this or even like the feel of it when I'm working with it. So this is all acrylic size four medium weight. Okay. So, I'm going to use... Ending the poll. Ending the poll. Right. And uh, Georgie, one of our channel members, sent us a milestone. Thank you very much. Thank you, Georgie. Georgie says, both yarns for square. That's Georgie's vote. Georgie votes for square. <laughs> okay, so if we go by the polls... Yes. We are using the yellow and coral yarn. The light yarn, the tropical color ball. And we are making a... Sack. A sack. Okay. So we're going to use the tropical ball of yarn. We're going to go with a sack and I'm going to use a five millimeter hook. Um, technically I could use five and a half, five, four and a half, six, six and a half millimeter. It doesn't really matter. Um, I think in the tutorial we used a five and a half millimeter hook, which is great. Works just fine. Um, but I'm going to, cause this is a slightly, I don't have a whole lot of this yarn. I'm going to use a slightly smaller hook so that my stitches are smaller, so that my yarn goes a little further, and I'll hopefully get an entire sack out of this. So here we go. The nice thing, too, about that little splendid sack is that you can add more or less rows, depending on how much yarn you have or what you need it for. So let me see. I'm going to start. 
with a slip knot, chain three, two double crochet into the little cinch circle I made. Chain one, I think I'm using a chain one. Three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, basically starts like a granny square. Um, and you can use two chains or one chain in between. I'm gonna go with one, just cause I'm making this a little bit smaller today. Okay. So cinch that up. I want a circle, so that's row one. I'm gonna slip stitch across to the next space, start in space, chain three, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, three double crochet. And there's the first color change. One, two. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do a chain one between them all. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Yeah, I already like, I already like this. This already looks nice. I think I'll be able to hide those little, <clears throat> those little knots pretty easily in this project too. Let me get a few rows done and then I'll show you guys the color changes. Okay, all right, I'm gonna do the third row of the bottom of the sack first. Then I'll show you the color change because I'm pretty sure we're gonna get, yeah, we're just about to go into this, the third color change here. So let me do this third row and then I'll show you what, oh yeah, I like this. This looks very tropical, very tropical indeed. I wonder if I'm gonna have enough I might not have enough for a whole sack here. Will I do, you know what? I'm gonna augment the pattern as I go. I'm only gonna do two rows in the bottom because why not? This is gonna make up for a very small little sack, but it will certainly be big enough for a gift card and a little bit of candy. So um, I'm just gonna do two rows. So that's, that's the first and that's the first color change. So it's the first two colors. So it starts with that dark pink and then it goes into that nice coral color, really pretty. And then it changes pretty quickly into the, um, the orange color. So I'm gonna start just doing the upper rows, which is, um, I don't increase anymore. So I'm just doing a shell in each space, no more corners. And it'll be round enough. So the bottom might feel a little square, but um, with the sides all being the same, it'll end up looking round. So that's no big deal. So the first row is that you're the first sort of the first two rows actually are basically a granny square. The first two rows of a granny square, absolutely zero variations from a basic granny square. And then I slip stitch into the corner space and I just start working a shell in every space. So no more corners. So there's two, four, six, eight shells in each row now from row two onwards. So it's a small version of the shell pattern or that shell sack. Oh yeah, that's in fact, that's really cute. Okay, here we go. You can start to see, first of all, that definitely looks round. And there's the little, the little color changes, dark pink, coral, and then that soft sort of orange color. Yeah, and it's, it looks pretty round. It doesn't really matter that it starts out square. Let's get a few more rows in here.
Oh, hey. Where'd that come from? <laughs> I'm speaking to you in Bell. You're speaking to me in Bell? Um, Vimo wanted to hear the bell again, Aww. so I went and got it. <laughs> I haven't had that out in a while. <clears throat> yeah, we haven't used the bell in a while. Okay, this is going to be a really cute little variation on that sack pattern. I already love it. Do you have any recommendations for quick color changing yarn? Maybe two or three stitches. Oh, like uh, variegated as opposed to self-striping? I mean, um, it depends on your color palette. It depends on, on kind of the project you're after. But if you are looking, so if you're in the yarn store and you're trying to find a yarn that you know will change color every couple of stitches, like every couple of single crochet or every couple of double crochet, um, the way to figure it out is to pick up a ball of yarn and take, take a little bit of it and pull it out. So if, if the color changes, so here's orange, it's already starts to yellow, the yellow runs for about, I'm gonna say that's about six inches or 15 centimeters per color. So green, the green's already turning to blue, the blue's already getting darker, darker blue's already going to purple. Um, there's 15 centimeters or six inches or less per um, piece of color. That will get you a color change every couple of stitches. If the color changes are much longer, like in a, a like in a, um, a Karen cake, for example, um, where you're looking at maybe like a meter or a yard of the color before it changes, then you're getting into like color per row territory, depending on the stitch, depending on the pattern. So if you want, if you want a color change every couple of stitches, look for really short color changes in that yarn that you you like sort of the, the color way of. And if you want much longer color changes, like per row or every few rows, look for like, if you just, if you pull out like about a, a yard or a meter's worth and it just obviously hasn't changed in a while, then that's gonna be, those are longer stripes. And so you'll actually get like, you know, a bar of that color if you're working on like a blanket or something. It's just sort of an easy rule of thumb. And then of course it completely depends on the palette you like. Um, I don't like all of the color ways that I see out there. Some of them I just, I just like, I can't get enough of. Like, I'm sort of sitting here thinking about um, the, the Mandela's. So the choices that Lion Brand makes for all of its Mandela cakes, I haven't yet found one that I don't like. I love them all. I love all the plain Mandela's. I love all the baby Mandela's. The, the color combinations that they put in the Mandela um, a series are beautiful. I love all of them. And they're, and they're not all the same. Like, they really run the gamut. Um, but there, sometimes I've seen some, you know, cakes of yarn. And it's just, I just don't quite understand what they were <laughs> thinking when they mixed some of the colors together. Obviously, color and color pairing is a very personal thing. You know, you might love a bunch of colors together that somebody else doesn't like. Uh, I might also be seeing it in a not a good light. That's another thing. I wish I wish some yarn stores could pay a little extra attention to lighting or blue lighting, clean, clean, clear lighting in the yarn area, because my gosh, can the color of the light ever affect how the color of the yarn looks? Um, every once in a while, I've, I've been known to sort of take yarn into the, into the aisles or even like in, uh, up against the window to kind of try to see it in, in like, say, sunlight or a different color. Do you think the stores will let you run outside with like, you know, 30 balls of yarn in your arm so you can see it outside? Hmm, I, I don't know. Which one should I pick here? <laughs> I mean, obviously, if you're in a shop that's in, you know, in a mall, you're probably not going to be able to get any any outdoor You'd light. Be walking but for a lot long of time. a lot of um, craft stores have windows, so you could always just sort of take it up to the window and and sort of see it in in different colors. That's lighting. true. That's true. That's what I try to do. So I've got quite a bit of this pale yellow here. I'm gonna get a couple of rows out of this. Here's another thing I'm going to try with this little experiment. I'm going to do my best to use up all of the yarn in this little cake. 
So we'll see how this is already adorable. I love it. This is a fun, fun spin on that sack. Um, it's a little tinier. It's like it's like candy in a gift card <laughs> size. <laughs> Perfect for even smaller, smaller scraps of yarn. And then I can back to the dark pink again. Okay, I'm going to take a break here at the end of this row Look and show at you that guys magic the, ball. Show you guys the process, or the progress. That's pretty cool to see how Let's it see. turns out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here I am so far. So there's the bottom. This looks. I think this looks neat, and like the color, the color changing is actually pretty even because I'm using a shell stitch, which is good for this kind of a, a magic ball there aren't jagged or awkward color changes. So each shell ends up being its own color. There's no real sort of changes mid stitch or mid shell. So this it looks kind of like, looks kind of like gumdrops, you know? Let's see here. Tracy asks, can Jada design and do a tutorial on a Japanese knot bag? A Japanese knot bag. I think she may actually have mentioned that. I think I saw that that comment in the comment section a little while back. Um, yeah, those are the bags, if I'm not mistaken, where you basically just um, pull one handle through the other and then like it kind of closes the bag and then you throw the bag over your shoulder, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, please let me know if I've got that confused with another Japanese bag. <laughs> Yeah, I like that idea. I, I, I like those bags. Ashley says, I followed a video for making a ball that you did. Is that our indoor indoor playground ball? The, uh, rainy, day, the rainy day indoor the rain, ball? Yeah, the rainy day indoor ball. Is that the one? Probably. We Yeah, we, had a, we did a live stream originally on we that. We have two versions of that. And then right? we did a quick fix just so everybody could see um, how it, how it kind of came together a little clear because we know that our live streams aren't the like, super clear. Sack. This <laughs> this is so darn cute. Yep. I love how that. Are you goes. making a mini a mini bag? It's a mini one. You're yeah. making a mini bag. I didn't think I had enough to do like a full. Oh, a full one. I see. So I thought I would augment the pattern a little bit, and this is just darling. Well, my three D printer is not going to fit in there. <laughs> no, but a gift card and candy might. A gift card for my three D printer. <laughs> And my card, new Tesla. A gift card for some candy. <laughs> hey, we have a new channel member. Ooh. Oh, hey. <laughs> ding, ding. Breaking out the old uh, the old stuff here. A throwback here. A little throwback. A throwback Sunday. <laughs> a big welcome to Anna, who has joined our Silk membership. Welcome, Anna. Thank you very much for joining It's a uh, pretty chill, casual Sunday afternoon here. Yes, I would yes say. it is. It's kind of fun. It's very chill. This is fun. I, I noticed that even the chat is very chill. Everyone's Good. just everyone's Everybody's just kind just of chilling, relaxing, chilling, hanging out, doing their own thing, getting some, getting some, spending some finished. time with the uh, the Unstitches family. I'm gonna have to. Uh, oh, got another color change coming here. Listening to us ramble and goof around. We, we goof and ramble very well. Yes. That's what we do best. We're almost professionals at goofing and rambling. Almost. Not almost. quite. I'm also going to want to have enough left to make a drawstring. So I have to keep that in my mind. It looks like you have tons. Well, I don't want to get to a point where I'm playing yarn chicken. Mm. And I do want to make sure that I can put that cute little scalloped mm -hmm. edging on top indoor softball crochet quick fix yeah that's the one yeah that's it thank you cammy cammy is in the house hey cammy thank you cammy that... was is knitting today oh very nice yes. nice 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 
Oh, speaking of knitting, this uh, Friday is our new Totally Tunisian square for our Ooh. calendar blankets. And every time I hear knitting now, I think of I it's think of Tunisian, Tunisian crochet. It's just so similar. But uh, yeah, that's this Friday. We're into May. That is number. That's square number five. Already. Wow. Can somebody please slow the Can planet just down? Slow it. Down? Just slow it down a bit. I feel like we're hurtling. Hurtling towards, <laughs> I don't know what. It's already May. It's already May. It's already the fifth. This will be the fifth square. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is crazy. <laughs> yeah, so that'll be Friday. Rainy Day Ball Live. Yes, that's the one. So we have the live one, and then we have the... And the quick fix. The super quality yes. quick fix. Okay, so if I... Ooh, yes. All right. Joanna says, looking forward to the to the next Tunisian square. And I'm not, not going to tell you what it is, but I will tell you this. Compared to last month, this one you are going to fly through. It is faster and ooh. it is easier. Oh, faster and easier? This sounds good. But it has a really cool look. So <laughs> That's all sweet. Say. Tune in Friday. Hello, hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Yes, happy Thank Sunday. Thank you to everyone, all of our subscribers, all of our members. Thanks for dropping in, spending a little time with us. We thought we would uh, make some magic balls of yarn and now I'm trying one out if you're just joining us because I want to see just how, how neat it looks and uh, how how good the color changes wind up coming out. And I'm pretty pretty pleased so far. So that is... That's tall and cute. I want to be able to make a drawstring and I want to be able to do I okay, can, yarn chicken time. Can we see it before you do yarn chicken? Can we see it close up again? Sure. So that's how I we're like it. Looks a bit like ice cream. Yeah. It's really cute. That's the bottom. So here we go. This is a little trick. I'm gonna pull up on this edge. Because I want to make a drawstring. To match this, I'm going to pull out the other tail. I'm going to make the drawstring, and then that will be out of the consideration of how much yarn I have left. So I know that I'll have enough. I'll get myself a nice drawstring out of this. So I'm going to chain. Mm, let's see. One, two. It, yeah, it looks good. It is a, a mini. It, look, it does look good for a mini bottle of wine. You know those um, ice wines? They usually come in really skinny little bottles. They're tall, though. Um, but yeah. Oh, so you're ending it there. I'm not, not no, 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 no. I just, I have to figure out how much I've got. So I'm making myself a drawstring out of the same yarn um, so that I don't run out. And that'll tell me how much I've got left. And if I, because I want to put the little scalloped edge on. So I like my drawstrings to be like, to be able to go around at least one and a half times. And then that gives me enough to usually tie a little knot with or a bow. So, maybe a little bit more. I'm not really counting my chains. I'm just kind of going for a, a length. Yes, this is the Splendid Spring Shell Stitch Sack. Slightly augmented. But uh, Jada's making it a little bit smaller. Yes. So if you would like the tutorial, that's already on our channel. Yes. Um, Okay, so that's my drawstring. Just basically took from the other end of the magic ball. So the drawstring's done. <laughs> and that leaves me with this much. Vanessa says, hello, I should get my yarn and hook. Yes, yes. go get your yarn and hook. Hey. <laughs> Hang out, crochet, sip some coffee yeah. I wish I had. Sip some tea, coffee. Sip some tea, drink some wine. Yeah, whatever you Maybe have. Maybe the whole bottle, I don't know, it's up to you. <laughs> okay. Do I do one more row of the shells and then I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to try one more row of the shells and then I'm going to get into the little scallop top. Let's see if I have enough left to do it. It's going to be a little tall sack. Yarn chicken, eh? Yeah, I'm playing yarn chicken. Who's going to win? The chicken, the yarn, or Jada? I'm going to see. That's three... I know that the scallop edge takes up less than the 
row of, of shells preceding it. Okay, that's four. Oh, it's going to be a photo finish. <laughs> Vima wants me to teach her how to uh, whistle. How to whistle. Yeah. I'm not a super good whistler, but uh, I, get, I can get a few notes out. You're certainly better at it than I am. <laughs> now I can't do it because everyone's listening. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Do I have enough left? I'm trying to use up the entire ball here. So I'm going to slip stitch. Okay, half double crochets. One, two, three. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do it. Mm, slip stitch. Anna says, thank you for the welcome. Well, thank you. For hanging out and thank you for joining. Yes. We appreciate the support. Yes, we do. We very much do. It is uh, very reassuring. <laughs> Quinnell. Quinnell has been a member for a very long time. Yes. Quinnell says, I got a Stanwood ball winder and Swift a while back because of Jada when she was inquiring of the family, which ones were a good one. Yes, I remember that. Yes. We did a live stream on that. Excellent. And everyone was chiming in with the ones that they liked. I have not enough. Um, I don't think we, um, I don't think we've come across a Stanwood yet. No, have not come across a Stanwood. No, not, uh, not, not like in the stores, but I mean, online, of course. I need like, Oh my goodness. Did the chicken win? The chicken won. Did the chicken win? The chicken beat Jada? I'm going to cheat. I'm going to sneak in a little bit of extra yarn. Here. I don't know if we should let you cheat. Oh, this is crochet. I think it's time for a poll. This is crochet. Anything is, Jada allowed, is Jada allowed to cheat I'm during gonna, crochet? I'm going to cheat in a tiny wee Cheater! Bit of, Cheater! This is kind of close in color, but because I have so little left to go, I really All right. don't. Well, we'll let this one slide. Oh, but just for today. <laughs> Back it off. <laughs> I would like to know how many people out there are practicing their whistling right now. There's going to be at least, at least 50. I needed enough for two little... Jada. What? Are you going to whistle for me? I'm not going to whistle. Come on, whistle for you know all I of us. I can't whistle. We're all cheering you on. I can't whistle. 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 I can't. No? Okay. I can only whistle by sucking in air. <laughs> But I can't. You you can, I can't you blow can out do it in, it. but not out. Yeah, I, I don't know, yeah. but it's not very good. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll give you a pass. That that was definitely that was definitely good effort. All right, I wound up needing a tiny wee bit for two little scalloped tops, but let me just weave in this little tail. Andrea here. says, "Always cheat when you lose at yarn chicken." It's crochet. Cheating is allowed, Honestly, says Regina. The the rules the rules only only apply if you want them to. Catherine says Jada can cheat all she likes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think there's way too much support for cheating in this family. <laughs> it's the family needs to dial down the cheating support. Let's dial it back a little, people. It's uh it's it's not cheating. It's creative. Um. Uh. <laughs> Creative um, solutions. <laughs> <laughs> Creative okay. solutions. So here we go. This is the little augmented sack. So it's based on two rows of a granny square instead of the full bottom, the full circular bottom of our actual sack pattern. So it's a little bit taller and narrower, but that's really cute. I can still get my whole hand in it like a little... Like a little, uh, like a beer cozy. It's almost like a beer cozy. Fantastic. And I made a little um, drawstring, which I will just weave through here. And that was just chaining. Um, obviously, if I didn't make the drawstring, I would have enough to finish off the sack as is, but then I would have needed like a little bit of ribbon or something. So there we go. Okay. 
Oh yeah. Cute, very cute. Totally fills. Now I haven't even done anything neat and tidy. Like I haven't trimmed the ends of my little my little tails yet. I haven't gone around and, and snuck all the little knots back into place, but that's pretty darn cute. That'll that'll do. I would definitely um, use that as a little gift bag in a pinch. I think I'm gonna tuck in all of my little knots. So the nice thing about using the granny shell stitch with a magic ball is that most of the time the knots between yarn, even if they're a little bit visible, can be tucked in underneath um, the grouping of stitches that makes up a shell. And that's just what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna tuck my, my knots in underneath my, my shells while Mr. and Stitches practices whistling. <laughs> go that's one most of them I've managed to get I think let me undo this while I'm working on it you know what this would make the perfect little baggie to to tuck some actual starbursts in like if you were going to give somebody just a little pick-me-up I'm practicing. Are you practicing? A little bit of music. Pra practicing practicing my classical uh, <laughs> classical music. Actually, there really weren't too many knots in that. Okay, let me just trim up those tails. Come on, Data. Chime in. I can't whistle. All right. Where's so where's your banjo? There's my Let's two go. little my two little that's the whole thing. I've tucked in all the little knots. There are no knots showing. It actually feels nice and soft and smooth all the way around. <laughs> the shell stitch is a great pattern choice for magic balls. That definitely looks like Starburst. Someone mentioned Starburst. Yeah, and you know what? The, it's uh, tall the tropical, enough that you the could, tropical flavors. You could, you could, you could fit some of those Starburst bars into that, and voila! Now instant, we're talking. Instant pick me up gift. Yes. You've used up your scrap yarn. It's really cute. It's the colors of the candy, um, uh, which which is kind of a neat guide to go by. Like if you're thinking, oh, how do I pair up these yarns? Go get the candy you want to be able to give away and then bring the candy bar into the craft room and pick out colors that go into that, that, uh, that match the candy wrapper. And then voila, make a little magic ball. Make up a little, a little tiny, uh, a little tiny sack. So this is fun. I actually, I actually like the length of that. A little bit longer, and you can even hide like candy bars and whatnot in it. Um, so that's that is a cute little bell, little bag, little baggy. It's the um, if this is an aug, this is this is an augmented splendid shell stitch sack. It's almost more like a splendid candy sack, really. <laughs> It's making me want Starburst. It's making me want Starburst. I have to say that is, that's the only problem with it. <laughs> I like it. That one's really cute. Okay. Yeah, that looks great. So let's try. Did you, did you wind another magic ball? No, 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 like, no. While, no that's... while we were all, you know, distracted <laughs> with your crochet skills? No, I've got these two. Ah, yes. Those are the other two. Okay. Yes. Hmm. So, uh, granny square. Shall I do a granny square or try a couple granny squares? Or, I think so, yeah. Or that's... a different stitch. Do you want to see, like, as opposed to the shell stitch, do you want to see something different? Like, um, what would be a good little project for that? Solid see. color square? Yeah, like a solid stitch square. or A maybe... solid stitch granny square? I'm trying to think in terms of, like, small things. Like, um, that might be good. That, that is from scraps to a sack. Crystal would like to see the blanket behind you. Oh, sure. This is the, we made this one during a live stream a few years ago, actually. Um, this is my rainbow. This is the granny shell stitch. Boy, do, do you think I like the shell stitch? I think you do. This is the granny shell stitch, and I used up all of my size five um, chunky or... Um, Bulky, chunky, chunky, bulky weight yarn. And it starts with red, all my reds. It goes into peaches and orange. I've got yellow and green. And then uh, purple's down at the bottom, back when I still had some purple. So that purple and blue. Oh, so pretty. 
Gorgeous. And I'll uh, bring it up a little closer so you can see. Now that blanket stitch. makes me think of candy, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the shell stitch, as you can see. Um, actually, I've got it upside down. Let me turn it upside down. Right side up. Oh my gosh, it's like a it's like a waterfall of color. Oh, there's the green. Mm, yeah, beautiful. So it's the shell stitch. We have a tutorial on how to just do the straight shell stitch. Um, and you can, you can, um, I think it's a, it's a three multiple. I think the foundation for this is like a, a three multiple. Um, I like cuddling with this one. It's really, really soft. But um, three, three multiple or doesn't matter. We explain it in the, in the tutorial. Um, Cam, if you're still there, if you can go find that one, it's the, I think it's just the, the straight granny shell stitch tutorial. In it, we make, um, uh, we sample, we make a little dishcloth, but uh, you can apply the formula, the base formula to make a blanket this big if you want. And the nice thing is that it's just the same row repeating over and over and over again. So it is a turn your brain off pattern. I absolutely love it. It's one of the easiest blanket patterns you'll ever make. You barely have to think about what you're doing. You don't even have to look at what you're doing because you're just feeling for the next space between between shells. Um, and it, it, it's like a granny square, but easier because you don't have to worry about corners. You're just going back and forth and back and forth. So super simple. Um, should I do, I might try granny square. Um, well, let's run a poll. So actually, if instead of doing the poll, um, you want to just read out chats? I was gonna say, you know what? You could pull which which of these. This is this one's got more purple. This one's got more more green. So if you want to do a poll on which color ball is next, okay. So that one. So the purple version or the green version? Yeah, the, the more purple or the more green ball. They're both roughly the same size, and that'll be the poll. And then in the in the chat, if you want to comment, um, should I try a granny square? Should I try? I'm trying to think of like I don't know. This is I'm not sure how much yarn is left in this, so I'm not sure if I could make like a whole hat. Um, probably not. I doubt that I have enough to make a hat. So what have I got enough to make? I might be able to make a pair of fingerless gloves sitting here. I've got some smaller fingerless gloves. Someone made a hat. Yeah, I'm not sure I've got enough to make a hat. I think for a hat you need... So purple would be to... the one on the left side of so your screen. This and... is the purple. This is... So more purple, more green. More purple, green. more green. Yeah, on more the right. purple, more green. Yeah. Holly says a headband, a hat for a doll, ooh, says Catherine. Ooh, Kim yes, says yes. purple. Um, a baby hat, says XD. Definitely enough for a baby hat. Um, Granny Square, says Crystal. I don't want to make a baby hat, though, only because there's a lot of little knots, and I don't want, I wouldn't want a little one to, like, lie on a knot. because A double, a Re uh, Regina says a, a double crochet granny square. Double crochet granny square. Yeah, like a solid double crochet granny square. Mm -hmm. I could also do a headband. I like that idea. There's definitely enough for a headband there. Um, that actually might be really, really pretty. Let's see what else comes in here. Ear warmers, a mug, a rug. Oh, fingerless gloves, Ooh. says Jenna. Uh, yeah, these are nice small. A doll products. hat. Doll hats. A scrunchie. Doll hat would be the good. moss stitch. The moss stitch. Yeah, the moss stitch is like the seed stitch. It's sort of similar. The moss stitch would be a good option to make the headband or a mug rug because it's a pattern, so it creates a little bit of interest. A cup cozy. Yeah. A headband. Headband or doll hat. Headband or doll hat. Headband or doll hat. Mug cozy, mug rug, C to C mug rug. Uh, we've got 82 votes so far. It looks like most people are leaning towards purple. purple? Sweet. Yeah, who doesn't like purple? Um, I definitely have enough for a doll hat. I might have enough for a pair of really short wristers. Um, maybe I will try that. A couple of wristers. It's like a lacy kind of pattern. See, this is another thing. Now I know that I probably don't have 200 yards in that ball. So in my brain, I'm rapidly going through, okay, you need around 200 yards of a size four for a hat, an adult hat. And I try to like use that as a rule of thumb. Um, and 200 yards is most of say a Red Heart Super Saver. Uh, Cause they're around like 398, I think. 
Um, so about 200 yards is enough for an adult hat, a little bit more if you're giving it extra slouch or something. So I'm pretty sure I don't have 200 yards. I probably maybe, maybe have 50 to 80 yards. I'm guessing that's a real guess. So 50 to 80 yards should be enough for a doll hat. It should be enough for an ear warmer headband. Um, Nina says a scarf for a teddy bear. A teddy bear scarf. That's a nice short project. Yes. Um, 18 inch doll fingerless gloves. <laughs> that's cute. That's cute. Yeah. Uh, baby hat or booties. Baby hat or booties. I love baby booties maybe. Again, I don't want to put anything. I wouldn't want to make a, anything baby that the baby might lie on that has little tiny knots in it because I wouldn't want a little tiny knot sort of poking into that tender flesh, but um, definitely that's enough yarn to make a baby hat or a baby set of baby booties. How about an actual teddy bear? Do you have enough yarn for a teddy bear? Mm. A miniature teddy bear? A coin purse? I might have enough for a miniature teddy bear. Coin purse? That would be a challenge and a half. What, making a teddy bear? Making a, a, a mini teddy bear. Are you up to the challenge? That would be cute. Yeah, I'll make a teddy bear. Yeah. I even have yarn to stuff it with. All right. All right, let's see if I can do that. Teddy bear it is. Teddy bear it is. I'm going to downsize my hook because I'm making amigurumi. So I'm going to go down to, what's the smallest one I've got? I've got a size four and a half millimeter here today. So I'll use that. Great. Let's see how I go. And which color am I using? Is it the mostly purple or the mostly um, green? I'm going to give everyone another 10 seconds to cast their vote in the poll. We have 101 votes so far. It looks like the majority have voted for the purple, the, the purple. mostly purple. I like it. I'm going to go get my real yarn needle so that I can weave in my tails. I'll be right back. I will ring the bell while you're gone. <laughs> Jada has left the building. Actually, she's just left the room. She is still in the building. <laughs> a chibi chubby bear. Oh, yeah. That's a great idea. Sunglasses cake. A hair clip. I don't know if she can hear me. I'm trying. Okay, so I'm going to end the poll. We have 108 votes. And it looks like mostly purple ball has won at 72%. There you go. We need a pattern for the teddy bear when it's done. Yeah, sure. We'll um we'll get that out. We'll get that out in some way or another. Either in a post or a video, we'll see. Gift card, gift card holder, that's a good one too. <laughs> we definitely need the teddy bear pattern. Okay. I will make a note. Sunglasses cakes, I like that. Jada's made made a lot of those. She's made uh, she's made us sunglass cases. She's made us um, iPhone. Uh, well, we don't have iPhones. We have Android phones, but um, phone cases so that um, when we you know throw them in the car, or whatever, they don't bang around too much. Those are great. Even if you have a case for your phone, it's always good to kind of throw it in a crocheted anyway for yes. when you're banging it around like you've got it in the car or in your purse yeah like the one you're showing right yeah, now that this is this is technically I a, think we have a, a phone case yeah we do we have a tutorial for this yeah. this is technically a phone case but i actually use it for a lot of things including hauling my hooks around the house um so everyone uh, a lot of people are loving the uh, teddy bear idea but okay. they want the pattern when it's done okay <laughs> so, and someone uh, someone suggested a chibi chubby 
Oh, teddy bear. Oh, that would be cute. Yeah, but I'm curious to see what oh, you. I'm gonna do a full teddy bear. I, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Let's see how how it goes. Okay. I so really should my... have made coffee Which... for this live stream. Yeah. What the heck was I thinking? <laughs> you know what? You should fire me on my behalf. <laughs> I'll just take a couple of those goodies off your, your shopping list. Do we have time? How long do you think you'll Oh, be... this will be a while. You want to put on a coffee? What do you think? Yeah, sure. Go for it. What do you think, everyone? Should we put on a coffee for uh, for this teddy bear? This is going to be a, a marathon live This stage. is probably going to be a bit of a marathon. I'm going to get comfortable here. If I make coffee, are you having coffee? Yeah, I'll have a cup of coffee. Yeah? Yeah. yeah you want good. my special coffee or just the, the regular coffee? Well, like, I don't want jet fuel. Otherwise, I won't sleep tonight. But... Okay. Do you want the coffee where I add a few extra sprinkles? The one that's like, you know, perfection? <laughs> just a nice hot cup of coffee. Of course, I'm just teasing. Um, I will uh, I'll have to make some notes here as I go. I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to base this concept on, so we've got a, a happy baby a happy, happy baby doll pattern in our Etsy shop. It's actually a bit of an ebook, um, and it's called the Baby Dolls of the World ebook. And I'm going to base this largely on that concept. Um, I don't have it memorized, so we'll see how this goes. But I know the general, the general idea. I'm going to make some notes, and if I like the way it turns out. Um, we'll write it up into a pattern. We'll see how this goes. So this is a little teddy bear. And I'll sort of tell you what I'm up to as I go, just so if you want to try and follow along. Obviously, this isn't going to be a full tutorial because you can't really see what I'm doing, but we'll tell you what I'm doing. Um, and if you know the basic stitches, then um, this shouldn't be too, too crazy a concept. I'm going to start with a cinch circle, and I'm going to start at the top of the head. So I'm going to build it from the head down. And I want to start with a cinch circle because when we're doing amigurumi or little stuffed toys, you want your stitches to be as tight as possible, as close as possible. Um, so if you don't feel like your stitching is nice and tight, and there's like if you feel like you've got kind of spaces between your stitches, it's always good to go down a hook size. Uh, the nice thing about making stuffed toys is that gauge doesn't really matter. You don't have to worry if it's like really, really big or really, really small. Um, I'm going to base this on eight. So I'm going to do eight single crochet. I'm going to use single crochet throughout, so just a single crochet stitch. I'm going to do eight single crochet into the cinch circle. And you'll see me pausing every so often to make notes. Ooh. And eight. So cinch, eight, Eight single crochet into the cinch circle. I'm going to cinch up that circle nice and tight. I am not joining my rows. So I'm going to work continuously in the round. Um, I'm going to work two single crochet into each stitch for row two, just by directly working stitch one of row two into the first stitch of what was row one. It's coffee time, coffee time, coffee time. Coffee, coffee's now. coming, coffee time. Is that the jingle? That's my new jingle. <laughs> Ooh, I just noticed the super chat. Hey. Coffee and a super chat? Coffee and super chat. Woohoo! <laughs> um, a big thank you to Renee. Hey, Renee. Thank who you. Who sent us a couple of bucks. <laughs> Hello, I just got home from church. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for joining us after your church session. Yeah. This is a nice way to unwind on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Um, thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us. This was just sort of an impromptu. I think I inspired stream. some of our viewers to make coffee. Oh, good. Or tea or whatever you're in the mood for. Maybe one of your fancy hazelnut flavored mocha, mochaccino things. Okay, so I finished row two, and that was two single crochet in every stitch. So I went from eight single crochet in row one to 16 single crochet in row two. Now I'm going to triple it. I'm going up to 24 single crochet for row three. So the pattern around is two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch. And that little pattern gets repeated eight times because we're working on a base of eight. So it's an easy thing to do is just to kind of count. 
Um, if you're working in the round and you have trouble kind of seeing where it was you started, it's always good to use like a stitch marker on that first stitch of each row. Vima just chimed in. It's 1.15 in the morning oh. in India. Vima. Vima, you should be in bed. Oh my God. No coffee for you. How are you not falling your, asleep? Your eyes must be melting out of your, you know, oh. sockets right now. <laughs> Now that's dedication to that's, crochet that's right there. That's that's hardcore Poor dedication. Insomnia. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad you're still here. I'm amazed. I don't Thank know you for I, sticking around. I don't know if I could still be here. But just so you know, it's already um, Monday morning. You can always time. watch the replay I'm afterwards. Sure she knows that. You don't have to stick around for the live. It's uh, it's nice that you're still here. Though. If I could send you, <laughs> if I could send you some fresh coffee through the camera, mm -hmm. I would. Oh, we're convincing some people to go make coffee. Woohoo! We're all going to be jacked. I'm actually really excited to see this teddy bear you're coming up with. Well, we'll it's going to be cute because I'm using a multicolored ball of yarn. So I'm just trying to decide how big I want to make the head. I think that's it. I'm going to go. So I've expanded to, so that's the end of row three, and it's, 24 stitches all the way around. So that was three rows of increasing. So I'm gonna make a note here. And now I'm just gonna work single crochet in every stitch all the way around for a few rows. And I will even everything up with the first stitch. So one, two, if I go one, two, three, that should bring me in line. Yeah, okay. So one, so you single, if you single crochet into the next three stitches, once you finish the third row, that should put your last stitch, that third stitch in alignment with that spot uh, where between row one and row two, where row one turns in. Not super important. Um, I'm just kind of telling you what I'm up to as I go here. So let's work a few rows. I'm gonna try and work a little tighter than I normally do, just so I don't have any spaces in between my stitches. And I will be stuffing this little teddy bear with some of the extra yarn I have in that bag. I love the sound of the rumbling coffee pot in the background. <laughs> mm, it just, sounds good. It just makes that rain so, so perfect. Um, I just want to, I was typing it out, but it's taking too long. So I'm just going to mention it. Sure. Um, one of our new members, Pink Tribble, <laughs> um, wants to know how to get to the members page on the website. So I'm assuming you're talking about the, uh, our, our jadenstitches.com website, yep. not the YouTube channel. The members page. We will repost that information after the live stream. Yeah, so a couple of things. Um, the web page on the website is for silk and vicuña level. Mm -hmm. Members. Um, so if you're silk or vicuña level, um, we post the access information. So the, um, the name and password to get onto that page on our community tab. Yes. If you're a, um, what's, what are the other two? <laughs> I keep forgetting. Alpaca, Alpaca or, or Merino. Yeah. All of our bonus content is on the, 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 uh, community the community tab. Yes. So that's where you'll see posts behind the scenes. Um, I really should do a video on this to try and explain it. I thought you it did do a video on I this. can't remember. I, um, I you have, but... uh, patterns, things like that. Yeah. Like all the all the perks. All the piece. So it depends on your level. Oh, um, and speaking of which, thank you for bringing up the, the community tab. Mm -hmm. On Friday... You know what? I'm going to post the link to the community tab. Yeah, you can post the link to the community tab. Everybody who's, who's watching can go check out the community tab. On Friday, we posted a free pocket pattern there. Um, and pocket patterns are little sort of um, short patterns that um, they're, the, they're a whole written pattern that go along with one of our tutorials and you can, you can save it. So if you're, it's, it works best if you're on a computer or a laptop, but you just go to the community tab, you tap on that post, tap on the photograph to bring it up to be like, um, so that you can see it, see the, see it in its, it's see it completely. 
Um, and then right click on it and just print. You can print that image and then you can um, print off a little pocket pattern and add it to your project journal. Um, and that was for everybody. Um, subscribers, members, that was a little, a little goodie on Friday. Somebody, a couple of people actually had asked for the written pattern for the um, for our little tulip applique. And we thought we would, we would put that together as a, a little free thank you for everybody. Um, and it's on the community tab. I'm just finishing my I'll water. You Are you going to give me a new mug? You want to use that mug? Because I thought you'd want water too. Yeah, I'll take a new mug. All right, I'm just working through the head of this little guy here. So where am I at? About halfway through a little. I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm eyeballing this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just crochet for a few rows, decide if I like the size of the head. Keeping in mind that teddy bears and dolls usually have sort of larger heads than their bodies, or their heads are almost the same size as their bodies in some cases. And uh, I think that's good. Okay, so that's where we're at so far. Nothing much to look at, but it's a, it's a little, it's sort of a, it's, the, it's, it's most of a head. Uh, after row one, two, three, I did one, two, three, four, five rows of just straight single crochet. So are you writing this down? Because everyone wants a pattern. After. Yeah, I am writing it down. Five rows of single crochet. And now I'm going to cinch the head in to create a bit of a neck because I don't want to, I want to try and make this in this, I'm going to make the whole head and body and legs, and then I'll add the arms and last. So I'm going to cinch the head down to make a neck. So I'm going to work two single crochet together. So single crochet two stitches together. So you pick up a loop in the first two stitches, yarn over and pull back through everything. And then single crochet as usual in the stitch after that. Single crochet two stitches together, single crochet regularly. I'm gonna do this eight times in total. Coffee! Ooh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm not sure if I was on the camera or not. I think you must have been kind of. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Not bad if I do say so myself. Good coffee. I was on camera. Oh my goodness. I've been exposed. Been exposed. All right. What do you guys think of my new haircut? Jada cut my hair uh, yesterday. I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Should 12, have shown everyone 13, the mop 14, I had 15, uh, the day the day before. Um, sixteen, and I'm going to go down to eight. All right, so I've decreased. So single crochet, two stitches together, single crochet, <laughs> single crochet, two stitches together, single crochet. I did that eight times, and now I've gone from twenty four back down to sixteen stitches. So that sort of starts to cinch in the head. And I'm going to take it back down to eight. So I'm going to single crochet two stitches together all the way around. So I'll be doing that eight times in total. That'll bring my stitch count back down to eight. And that'll be the little neck. And then I'm going to pause to stuff the head. So that's two. So far, I'm all purple. Three, four, five. Six. We have a new member. Hey. Big welcome to Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Welcome to the family. All right, there is eight. Some of our viewers like my new short hair, yes. and some of our viewers like my old long hair. I like both. I like it when it's long, I like it when it's short. Mm -hmm. it, it is I agree. I like both. The long hair is definitely a lot more of a pain in the butt. That's a good copy. It is. Much more maintenance required. And a lot more shampoo. Making notes. Okay, let's stuff the head. So now I, I worked two single crochet together all the way around, or so single crochet two stitches together eight times. I'm back down to eight. It's a dark purple, so you won't be able to see what I'm doing, but I'm going to pull up on my loop, take my hook out, and I'm going to stuff the little head. So you can see that's kind of, you know what? I'm going to hold it against the white background here. You can see that it's pretty much a little ball. 
little ball. I basically turned a little ball. It's got a it's got a hole in the bottom. That's gonna be where I stuff it. So I'll take some yarn that I don't particularly care for. Oh, that's a good one. And I will stuff it with this and then stuffing things with yarn sometimes I feel like it's certainly a little heavier than pillow stuffing but sometimes I feel like you know you can you can work it into corners a little easier than you can pillow stuffing pillow stuffing sometimes you know isn't as isn't as moldable as quickly as bits of yarn so that's a little bit I need some more a couple I don't really care for either of these Did I miss anything while I was making coffee? I'm not sure. I've had my eyes. Well, uh, I got there. Lisa. <clears throat> Lisa's been watching since 2018. Wow. And decided to join. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Uh, let me see what else. Um, Jessica Rabbit missed my cameo. Oh, <laughs> that's too Jessica bad. Jessica was probably getting herself a coffee. She <laughs> probably was. Uh, let's see what else we got. I think, yeah. I think I got all the milestone. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'll give it just a little bit more. Jada, do you ever make crochet jewelry? Oh, yeah. And how? A lot. We've got uh, we have several. Like 10 or 15. We've got uh, a lot. Maybe we've, more than 15 crochet tutorials on jewelry. Bracelets, or... anklets, necklaces. We did a choker. We've done uh, earrings. We've got um, we've got quite a few actually. Yeah, um, go to our YouTube channel, there. which I will post. The link in the chat and um, go onto the channel homepage and then go into the search box. We even have a playlist. And um, type in jewelry, crochet jewelry, and you should find it all. I think, yeah, we do have a playlist. Okay. That is correct. All right. So <clears throat> I've cinched the head down to eight stitches all the way around. And now that there's stuffing in it, you can kind of see the space. I'm going to hold this right up against the camera. So you can see that's the little hole. That's the eight single eight, eight stitches all the way around. I've stuffed it full of yarn, and I've got I'm gonna I'm so dark. I have to hold this white background. Now you can really see that this is a round little ball. So that's the head of uh, of my little my little uh, teddy bear so far, and I'm still purple. This is still purple. I'm using this this different colored. Oh, are you using them? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course you are. And it's still, it's the still whole purple. head turned out so purple. So the head's purple. No way. So that's kind of cool. I can't wait to see how this bear turns out. Yeah, this is super cute. I wonder what colors ears are going to wind up being. All right, so now I'm going to go from eight back up to 16. So I'm going to work two single crochet into each stitch all the way around. And I'm going to try to keep a finger on the stuffing. Now this, you know, it, not everybody holds their yarn the way I do. So that might not be as easy for you, but... Um, just don't overstuff the head if you're doing this, and then you can always put a little extra stuffing in later, so that's that's not a big deal. Everyone approves of your haircutting skills. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> the best part about it, it was a free haircut. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to pay. Do you like free? free yes. Good. I got a free haircut. Okay, so your uh, yarn almost matches your top. Almost. Almost. This is the more top of, is a little more more wine, of a mulberry wine color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. That is good coffee. Okay, I think it's time to switch to glasses mode. <laughs> I'm working. I'm making Ami groovy. I need the glasses on. Okay, so then I've gone back up to 16. So let me make a note. Back to 16. And now that's, so that's the neck. I'm going to fill out the shoulder. So I'm going to continue to increase. I'm going to go 
two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, all the way around for the next row, which will bring me back up to 24 stitches. So I'm kind of mm -hmm. going in and out. So I'm going from 16 to 24. Tracy asks, are you able to zoom in or move the camera in a little closer? If you are watching from a cell phone, it's really hard to see what Jane is doing. Um, what we'll do is we'll put out the pattern or we will make a proper tutorial video with our other cameras. Yes. So this is just a live stream. It's more about hanging out than, than you know, showing exactly stitch by stitch. Yeah, we, we can't really, um, even if we zoom in, it's, it gets um, blurry. It gets blurry. The lighting isn't fantastic and our internet's not very quick. So um, we'll, we'll, I'll write up a pattern. Um, I might even be able to get that done over the next couple of days. Um, so we'll have a pattern available. And then, yes, we will do a proper tutorial if this works out nicely. It might not even turn out, everyone. <laughs> I want to make sure that it looks Data's good. Data's making a teddy bear, but it might turn out to be like a dinosaur no or, idea. you know, a fruit, like an apple or something. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what's coming? We will see. We will see. So far, I'm, I'm liking it. I've got a little head. I've got a little neck. I've got a little shoulders. I know you can't see it very well, but um, I, you know what else I'll do? I'll post some photographs of the finished thing after the live stream in the community tab so you all can see it. Um, and then uh, maybe Some we'll close ups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, one of our new members says, is your stash dwindling or growing? That's a good question. Well, I would say recently it grew. Recently it grew. Yes. We, did a, we did a couple of yarn shops. Uh, we did one haul video. There's another one coming and, um, we got some, we got some more yarn. I am trying to like I, I kind of go through phases where I, I want to use up all my cottons and then I really want to use up all my variegated and I'm having trouble using up all my variegated yarns because I have a lot of it and I like it. I tend to gravitate to really pretty multicolored balls of yarn. But um, I did make a pretty good dent in it in the last two years, but Excellent. we did we did just sort of like, you know, fill it up again with, uh, with our latest yarn shop. So that was kind of fun. <laughs> Catherine says, I learned. He doesn't want to go to barbers ever again. <laughs> it's kind of neat to be able to cut your own hair. If you don't mind, you know, easy cuts, buzz cuts, stuff like that. It's so easy to do at home. Mm -hmm. I mean, a, a, a decent a decent machine will cost you maybe 30 bucks. Yeah. Um, there are um, tutorials, of course, on YouTube <laughs> on how to cut your own hair yep. uh, by people who actually know what they're doing. Like, not people like me. who was like, I don't know, scissors hair. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> But um, you know, proper proper on how to even just trim your ends, how to you know put on bangs or a fringe, like how to like uh, feather your hair. Like there's all sorts of like you know videos by people who actually know what they're doing, uh, who've put up really good tutorials. Mm -hmm. um, so those are so if you want to try your hand at cutting your own hair, then you might want to like go down that rabbit hole because that's there's always that on the, on YouTube. We might be we might be experiencing some internet squirrels. Oh really? Um, so we'll just we'll just hold back a bit and see if the um, the stream fixes okay. itself. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to read out a super chat. Okay. I hope this gets through. A big thank you to Ray Rio. Sent us a five dollar super chat. Thank you, Ray. Says I found a scrap of variegated bocal yarn. Oh, boucle. Boucle. Yeah. yeah. And instantly decided I need to make another whimsical owl and use that for the floof. Yes, the little the little floofy eerie eyebrows things. Love it. Um, it might be on our end. It might be on your end. So before you before you type into the chat, um, make sure on your end it's not on your end. Um, restart your you know um, leave the stream and come back. Um, check your settings. Uh, like your your speakers or your volume or uh, sometimes you can dial down the what's it called like the the, the pixel the pixel yeah what I forget what that's called <laughs> I don't remember either um, the quality the the quality of it so you so instead of 1080p you can dial it down to maybe uh, you know 640 or 480 it, it, if you have slow internet that'll help on your end too. Um, can everybody still hear us? I'm just going to come to the chat. I don't know. We'll see. So here we go. Here's my little head and I'll oh, back it up a little bit. It's, uh, doesn't want to. Come on, focus. Come on, focus. 
pull away and pull in again. <laughs> I'm trying to get it to focus. There we, there we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. So here we go. Head, neck, and shoulders started. Um, so what I did was I, I, I now, I just finished a row where... <laughs> Thank you, Quinnell. Resolution. Yeah. Resolution. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. That's the word. Thank uh, you. You know, like the pixels and stuff. <laughs> I, I couldn't think of it. Resolution. Resolution. That's the word. Yes. Um, everyone's chiming in. It looks like most people can see and hear us fine. Okay. So it might be on uh, okay. your end. Great. Um, so just check your settings or leave the stream and come back. Sometimes that fixes it. All right, so just to catch everybody up, after I finished the head and I went back down to eight stitches all the way around, stuffed the head, then I started to increase again for the neck and the shoulders. So I went two stitches or two single crochet to each stitch around for the next row. That brought me back up to 16. I did the little two, one, two, one around for the next row. That brought me up to 24. And now I've gone up to 32, two single crochet into the first stitch, single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way around. That's eight times, um, eight times in a row. And that brings me up to 32 stitches. Um, so the, um, and I think that's as wide as I'm gonna make it. So just like one row wider than the head. And now I'm just gonna single crochet in every single stitch all the way around for a little while, see how big the body gets. And that will be the body. And then I will focus on making the legs. So let's see how this goes. I really like kind of, I guess this is, this is kind of like the, the crochet equivalent to guitar noodling. I'm, I'm just sort of, you know, kind of winging it. I know, I know the shape that I want. Um, I'm still in purple. Can you believe this? I haven't even changed color yet. I guess you've spun up a lot of purple. Yeah, I guess also single crochet in a smaller hook uses, doesn't use up as much yarn. It looks like the stream has fixed itself. Settled so itself? there was something interrupting. If ever it's buffering or kind of getting choppy, one of the things you can do is just refresh your page and it'll like reload the screen. And if it was kind of just a transmission issue, it sh that should fix it. Um, typically, uh, if something catastrophic happens over here, we can sort of see it in real time. But so far, it looks like everything's kind of doing a doing normal. We always we always seem to have a little a little hiccup. hiccup? Um, there's always one, one or two, depending, especially when we go for longer. I think I think some other background softwares are trying to you know communicate or download oh, yeah. something, sure. and that's why that that happens. But it could also be on the other end, on the viewer end. Yeah, this is already looking cute. That is going to be, that's going to be a decent sized body. Maybe too wide. Hmm. Maybe not. And just to reiterate, I'm not joining rows, so I'm not like joining with a slip stitch, chaining one and continuing. I'm not doing that. I'm just kind of crocheting in every stitch all the way around continuously. Um, I, I've done this so many times that I don't need stitch markers and I kind of know what I'm looking at if I get lost. Like I know how to count back my stitches or like I know what kind of grouping to look for last, you know, in order to know where I'm at. So, uh, but if you're if you're new to Amigurumi or working in the round, using a stitch marker to mark the first stitch of every row really helps because then you know when you get back around to the beginning of a row that you've completed one full row. You know which is the row, like which is the stitch that you're going to work your first stitch of the next row into, and so on and so on. Uh, I think we we've, we've done a tutorial on that too. And every time we do a, um, an amigurumi, amigurumi tutorial, we usually kind of talk about that, like little, little things you can look for to kind of keep track of where you're at. I am still in the purple. This is gonna be a purple teddy bear. 
This is hilarious. I'm surprised that much of it turned out purple. Yeah, and I still thought it would have been mixing by now. I still don't see a, a color <laughs> change coming. So I think I think the legs will probably end up being different colors, but we shall see. Oh my goodness, there's that much purple in there. Yeah, and this is just the first. Uh, when I wound this ball, I used uh, what I thought was about a third of what was left of the purple. So. There's a lot of yarn in this little ball of yarn. There you go. See, that's the neat thing about amigurumi. Amigurumi no doesn't chicken. take up a lot of yarn. No yarn chicken this time. No, no yarn chicken this time. I might be playing purple chicken. Purple chicken. <laughs> So that brings me back around again. Hmm. How many rows is that? One, two, so 16, 21, 32. No, you're all a single crochet. 16, 24, 32. One, two, three, four, five rows so far. Wow. Oh, here comes the first color change. Woohoo! Finally. Loving the color change. It's uh, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> I'm gonna tuck that knot so that it stays on the inside. There we go. And continue. So color change is good for the lobby groomy. Oh, it's gonna look like he's got pants on. <laughs> that's adorable. Yeah, that's cute. Ding, ding, ding! That was a pretty little ding. We have a super chat <laughs> from Tori. Hey, Tori, hi. Tori is back. Tori's back. Tori says, thank you from your words of thoughtfulness from my calendar picture I oh. sent the other day. You will never know how much that means. Oh, you're welcome. It was really nice. I love the way it turned out. It looks fantastic. Yeah, that reminds me, everyone. If you want to share a photograph with us, the quickest way to get a photograph to us is to um, message us at our Etsy shop. We do have a Twitter account and we do have an Instagram account. It's just that we tend to run out of time in a week ah. <laughs> before we get to them. So um, it's if you if you want to share a photograph with us or you you know you kind of want to get something in our face a little quicker, um, then please feel free to message us at the Etsy shop because we do end up getting there a lot sooner. Uh, but that said, we do get around eventually to the Instagram account and the Twitter account. It just sometimes takes us quite a while to get there. Yes, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to. Um... We're going to try to get to our Instagram and our Twitter more often. We're going to try. Um, if we if we work up to it, we might be able to squeeze it in more. But. Yes. This is... <laughs> I do like that sound of that bell. It sounds so nice. We got a super chat that I had missed from earlier. Oh. Big shout out to Nick. Hey, Nick, thank you again. Nick sent us another super chat. <laughs> Says, thanks for all your lives, especially longer. Love crocheting at night watching them like Aww. they're keeping me company. Good. Is that weird? <laughs> LOL. No. no, it's not. No, Nick. we like that too. There are, um, you know, we're, we're, we're always tuning into live streams on YouTube. It's, it's, um, it's enjoyable to watch, uh, you know. It is someone live streaming. Um, it does feel like you're hanging out in real time, for sure. It's not weird. I'm trying to decide. If... What's weird is Jada's color uh, magic ball there that has gone mostly purple. I'm, I'm trying to decide if it's if the body's too big. Little pants. The body's <laughs> gonna be too big, in which case I might take it out and do, it, do, do like the body again. I don't know, I'm trying to, sorry. You guys can't see this here. Maybe not. You know what that looks like? Looks like one of those little Fisher Price people. I don't. I don't see as that being too big for a body. If you're making a teddy bear. Yeah. No, okay, that's well. not too big. 
like I said, this is a. If I missed, uh, if I missed your super chat or milestone, let me know because sometimes, uh, if we do get the odd glitch, it won't pop up in on my chat screen. So, let me know. Yes, definitely join our Instagram and our Twitter. Um, yeah, I think if you're on Twitter, feel free to follow us. I think it's at Jada and Stitches on both. Send us pictures. The usual. Just keep in mind that we don't frequent Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, we're not. We, we're we, just not so, there like, often. if you don't hear from us, for like a week or two or four. three or four a couple of months <laughs> a couple, yeah. yeah we don't frequent them <laughs> but we are like we are there we uh we we just we end up running out of time so yeah. um if you do like want to just sort of pop in and say hey or something or you have a question um first of all if you have a question on any of our tutorials feel free to leave it in the comment section because the first place we are usually at is is youtube um, we try to, we read through all the comments. We try to answer as many questions as we possibly can. And then um, Etsy is the other place we're at. And of course, it's really easy to, to send a photograph to us at Etsy. It's also private and you don't have to have an account. You just have to go to our shop and hit contact seller. And then in the little message box, somewhere in that box will be like a little tiny icon that looks like a little landscape painting, like a couple of mountains and like a sun in the sky or something. Just click on that and you can upload a photograph. Um, and that's, doesn't matter what device you're using. Joanna says, I will just send pics to you through your Etsy messaging. That is fine. We will get them. We will definitely get them there and more frequently. Jada is a crochet legend for sure. <laughs> Jada, are you a crochet legend? I'm a crochet confusion at the moment. I'm trying to figure out if maybe... It's looking I'm, pretty good to me. I don't know if I've made that too big or too small or too... Maybe not small, but... Hmm. I think I think I've done enough like okay so I think I've done enough rows in the body I after increasing up to 32 stitches let me just make sure I've got the right row yeah that one there one two three four five How six about a seven Stardew valley blue chicken seven cute. rows straight um I haven't gotten to the blue chicken yet, so no spoilers. Well, we can make the chicken, the chibi chubby chicken, and just use the blue yarn. Yeah. I bet you the... That would I be I know cute. what the chickens look like. Oh, the chickens are so cute. I'm just going to finish off this I one. love the Stardew Valley chickens. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I love everything Stardew Valley. Okay. <laughs> I am going to... Renee says, don't overthink it. Just crochet. Yeah. Stop thinking. Just keep crocheting. So now I'm going to split the body for the legs. So what I've done is I've worked, after I increased up to 32 single crochet, I worked five straight rows of just straight single crochet. So I've got five rows that are 32 stitches each. That's the body. Now I'm going to split the body to make the legs. Um, so all I'm going to do is fold <laughs> it in half. That's adorable. Jada was the very first yarn tuber I followed. That's from Cammy. Yarn tuber. Cammy is good. one of our uh, one of our frequent employees of the month. <laughs> yes. You're a yarn tuber. I'm a yarn tuber. Yeah. I like that. That's cute. <laughs> I like that. So 16. So I'm going to Summer says you pursue Shane blue chickens. Shane. Shane is the guy. Is Shane the guy that comes back from, isn't Shane from the, the no he's the is Shane's it, the one with the drinking problem isn't he is Shane the one with the drinking problem I feel like Shane is kind of like he's got like the scruffy hair is he the one that owns the dog no I, I, I can see his character but I don't remember his storyline yeah Summer says he's the drunk you're yeah, right I thought Shane so. is the drunk yeah his story's sad I like so you have to pursue Shane and then you get the blue chicken the chicken Guess what we're doing tonight? We're playing <laughs> Stardew Valley. Oh, I love that game so much. Okay, I got. I got to just count for a second. One, two, three. Four, Alex five, is six, the one with the dog. Seven, okay, eight, Alex. Nine, yeah, the little kid. 13, 14, 15, 15, 16. He's not a little kid. He's like a football player. Oh man, I'm thinking of which one's the kid. Uh, 
there's the two kids, uh, but Alex is the football player who lives with his grandparents. That's right. And that's what the dog's out in front of their house. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what I'm doing so it makes sense. I counted, I counted 16 stitches back from my hook. So here's you can see where my, my hook is over here, the base of it. I counted 16 stitches around, and I slipped my hook through the 16th stitch. So that separates those 32 stitches into two even halves. And now I'm just going to focus on one half crocheting around. And that's what's going to make me my leg. Um, so I'm going to pull my yarn around. We're being schooled on Stardew Valley characters in the chat. <laughs> Catherine says you're the best yarn tuber. Aw, thank you, yarn tuber. <laughs> so I'm going to get one row of my first leg done, and then I'm going to stuff the body just to make sure that I've got a good proportion going here because I'm still not entirely certain. Okay, so that's leg number one started. Eh, yeah, that might work. Okay. I'm going to stuff the body. Uh, what have I got? This will be good. Another good way to use up scraps of yarn. I was thinking of Vincent, the little, the little guy. Oh, Vincent, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Catherine says, drink your coffee before it gets cold. I've been sipping it. I've been sipping yeah. it. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> guzzle it. Just, just guzzle the whole thing. That way you make the teddy bear faster. I'm about halfway done. <laughs> What's our Etsy store name? You don't, Penny, you don't know our Etsy store name? My goodness. <laughs> I think everyone in the chat should school Penny I think on our Etsy store name. You probably have the link available too, don't you? you I have the Of course I have the link. Slip that into the chat. It's also, it's usually included in all of our description boxes too. I think it, like it's kind of a, you try to make sure it's there. All right, so that's... Let me grab the link. Hmm, let's see here. There we are. All right. So body is now stuffed. I'm going to work on leg number one. And let's see where we get with that. May have overstuffed this. This stuff it wants to come out. There we go. All right. So the first and only color change occurred towards the lower part of the body of this, what may or may not be a proportionate looking teddy bear. I don't know, I'm still, jury's still out on that. I'm waiting to see more color mixing here. I know, it's hilarious. I was expecting um, more like the bag, the way the sock turned out. I think it may have been a little more obvious if I had have done a granny square with, ah. with the same sized hook just because double crochets are taller stitches understood um, you would a have larger been using hook more makes bigger stitches you use it up faster yeah maybe we should have gone with the granny square then to see the, the to see the color combination i think this might be kind of cute we'll call this the the live stream teddy. i do like that you're making a teddy bear though that's, that's pretty awesome we'll see how he turns out So I split um, the I split the body in half, and now I'm just single crocheting around, focusing on 16 of the 32 stitches. So I'm going to end up with a leg built onto the body and 16 stitches on the body 
not used. And then I'll go back after I finish off this leg and I will work the other leg directly onto the remaining 16 stitches on the other half of the body. Cameron says, I get to give my sister her Chevron Afghan by the fabulous yarn tuber, Jada. <laughs> Tomorrow, my dad and I are having breakfast with my sister. Oh, gosh, that sounds lovely. Oh, my goodness. So you're giving her the blanket you've been making tomorrow? That's exciting. That's nice. I love it. Aww. I think she's going to love it. For sure. For Freak sure. out. Who doesn't love receiving a beautiful handmade crochet blanket? Nobody's sane. I mean, like, you gotta, you got to really, you know, if you're nuts, maybe not. But, like, if, you, if you're if you sane and you understand how much work goes into these things, like, it's hard not to absolutely love it, especially knowing that somebody made it for you. We have some of our new people that have recently joined us really loving the blanket beside you. Thank you. Um, that is, once again, the Granny Straight Shell Stitch. We have a tutorial on how to use the shell stitch or how to make the straight shell stitch. <laughs> and um, we made that during a bunch of live streams a little while ago. Yes, it's during, uh, I think we had a few live streams in a row mm -hmm. where that you can go back and watch those from, uh, oh boy, I don't know, two and a half, three years ago. Um, Lori, one of our channel members said, you can call, you can call Yarn Tuber Teddy. Yarn Tuber Teddy. So this is going to be Yarn Tuber Teddy. I like it. <laughs> yarn Tuber Teddy. Sure. I think, yes, I agree. Yarn tuber Teddy. Seven. That was seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six rows on the leg, six rows at 16 stitches. And then we're going to go from 16. Okay, so let me finish. Wait. Can we do seven? Finish that. I will take it back out to, that's where it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Everyone gets to see you design in, in real time. Yeah. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's, that looks accurate enough to me. Okay. So. Six rows straight of the leg. So like you guys can kind of see the little leg happening now. Let me try to get in front of the white background. So there's like the little leg. This is great. He's actually going to wear pants. He's wearing like, pants. And that's so just cute. totally by fluke. And now I I'm love going to, it. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to start to close off the bottom of the leg and then I'm going to stuff the leg and then I'm going to go back and do the second one. So um, oh, so I'm at 16 stitches. I'm going to work two single crochet together. So single crochet, two stitches together eight times. And that will bring me down to eight stitches. Okay, so that's down to eight. Now I'm going to stuff the leg. Might be too much. So let's get this out of the way. Yeah, the color is blending into your top, so it's a little hard to see. I'll, I'll get up in a second here to show you again where I'm at. Let me just finish off this leg so you can sort of see what I'm talking about. I'm just stuffing the leg. Nothing too, too crazy about that. <laughs> we have a membership milestone hey. from Ronnie. Hi, Ronnie. Thank you. Ronnie says, you guys are fab. I feel like my second Canadian family. <laughs> awesome. Marvelous. Thank you. Fellow Canadian, yes. fellow Canuck. Canuck. It's a funny word. I wonder where Canuck comes from. Does anybody know where that comes Yeah, where from? does Canuck come from? Why, why is that like a nickname for Canadian? Canuck. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Maybe so Ronnie knows. Two, eight single crochet. <laughs> I think I'm going to work two single crochet 
together. So single crochet two stitches together again. I'm going to do that four times. That'll bring me down from eight to four stitches. I'll show you how this leg looks as soon as I've got it finished. Um, to close up the hole, I'm just going to slip stitch around the hole at the bottom and then we'll close it up fairly neatly. So let's single crochet two together four times and now I like to slip stitch around the posts and if you've ever seen any of the um, the tutorials we've done, we did a lot more sort of larger amigurumi back in the day. Um, this is a little technique I like to use to close up a hole on something round, like an amigurumi. Um, still on only the second color change and that's the leg done. I'm going to grab that needle, I'm just going to weave this tail in a little bit and then pull it into the body. Fancy schmancy. And I'll show you guys the leg in a second here. Okay. All right, so leg number one, some of the stuffing's coming out. So here we go. We've got Little head, I'll hold them sort of, you can see them against the background. Head, body, and then leg number one. And I've got some stuffing kind of falling out the bottom. I'm gonna attach my yarn and now focus on those 16 stitches around the other side to complete the exact same leg. I'm gonna try and make them pretty much identical. And then I'll have a head and a body and two legs, and then I'll have to make the arms separately and sew them on, so. And the ears. And the ears, the ears are obviously. That's ears. the most important part. Ears, and, and he's gonna do a little face, I might, I might. I might put a face on him later. I don't know. We'll see. We might have to update everyone with the face. Yes. I, I don't have anything to make the face out of just yet, but can you believe I'm still on the second color change? This, I can't believe this, this might be an magic ball. Where's the magic? <laughs> <laughs> it's magic that it's only changed twice. It's magic that you mixed yarn. I'm stuck. And it's only one color. It's only one color. <laughs> How is it that you mix like a whole bunch of different yarns and it's coming out the same color? It's crazy. That, now that's a magic ball that's right magic. there. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's crazy. Okay. So now. The fidgety crocheter says, you are awesome. <laughs> I started a blanket a while ago and am about halfway done. The person who wanted it no longer wants it. Oh. What do you do in this kind of, with this kind of thing? I am totally bored with it. Oh, okay. Well, um. I would, if you're halfway done, I would call it, wrap it up, call it a baby blanket and donate it to the, uh, the preemie ward at the your local hospital. Yeah, that's nice. Um, or the the local um, animal shelter. Yes. So that the sweet little animals have some padding under their feet. You've got a few options actually. If you're partway through a blanket and it was going to be like a full twin size and you're only halfway through, you can call it. Work your last row, put on a simple border and use it as a lap gan or like a decorative throw on your own couch. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, uh, take Mr. and Stitch's advice and maybe it wasn't your color palette, not kind of your thing. Call it done, finish the last row, put a border on it or not, and then donate it to, uh, like if it's small enough, donate it to like a, um, an animal shelter because they can fold them up and the cats and dogs can sort of sit on them in their cages, which is really nice. Um, if you made it halfway and you don't really need another throw blanket you can call it done finish your last row don't put on a border so so halfway around fold it in half so halfway around stuff it and then finish sewing it up and have like a big throw cushion or a floor cushion depending on how big it is if you don't like it but like the yarn take it apart cannibalize it uh rewind it put it back in your stash use the yarn for something else <laughs> Um, if it is long and narrow and you don't want to finish making it into a blanket, it might make a nice wrap so you can call it quits, finish the last row, put on a simple border or not, and just wear it like a little shawl or something around the house. You've got options. 
So Cameron definitely gets employee of the month oh, okay. this month. So the month of May is now Cameron Cameron month. <laughs> Cameron looked up the term Canuck. Oh, was that's first Canuck. recorded in 1835. Wow. As an American originally referring to Dutch Canadians. Dutch Canadians. Which included German Canadians and French Canadians. Oh my gosh. So there you go. It was an Americanism referring to Dutch Canadians specifically. Okay. That wh is... Which included German Canadians and French Canadians. That's news to me. That is news to me. And it's spelled with a K. I thought it was spelled with a C. Well, we modernized it and spell it with a C. That but if you were spelled, but if it was reference to Dutch or German, they don't have the word C. Yeah. They use the word K. I wonder if it was a, a like a slang, like two two slang words slapped together or, or something letter, like that. Not word, letter. Yeah, maybe. Well, that's news to us. Thank, Thank you. you, Cameron, for looking that up. Yes, uh, to Diane, we are still going. Um, this became a marathon live stream. We uh, we weren't sure, but yeah, we were just gonna make some magic balls and you know kind of um, fiddle around with them a bit. But hey, I got challenged to make a teddy bear, and I couldn't say no. So, <laughs> so Mister, I just put on a pot of coffee, and here we are. We're still here. And here we are. Mm -hmm. Good thing for the pot of coffee. Otherwise, I'd be uh, asleep under the desk right now. <laughs> it's not that late. What time is it? You know what? It's not, but it feels late because it's dark and rainy. Finally, a color change. This is a magic ball teddy bear. It's, I finally have a, a second color change. I'm into the third color of yarn here. How many rows did you Six rows. We do have a teddy bear pattern in our Etsy shop, now that I think about it. It's for a much larger teddy bear. It's even got like, it's got sort of some extra detail on it because it's a larger teddy bear. Um, it's made in a similar fashion to the way I'm doing this, where you've got like a head and the body and then you split and you make the legs on the body all kind of in one go. Um, it's an older pattern. Um, but it 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 it's a, it makes a really nice sized teddy bear. Um, it's one of the patterns we ever we ever put up in the shop, I think. Um, I just remembered it now. We've got we've got so many patterns up in the shop, and we've been doing this for so many years nine years. We just had our ninth our ninth shop anniversary. Um, <laughs> I'm starting to forget the kind of some of the stuff that we've got in there. So let me see here. One, two, three, four, five. I'll come around. Okay, so that's leg number two almost done. Now I'm going to close it off. So single crochet, two stitches together eight times. And stuff the second leg. Just using some of the yarn that I've got in my basket here. A little bit more. That's 
enough. Okay. And I'll finish that off by single crocheting. So let me see. I went down to four and then slip stitch. Two, three, and four. And slip stitch around the posts. Shell is in the house. Hey, Shell. Shell wants to know what she missed, and I have to say absolutely everything. You have missed absolutely everything. A lot. <laughs> The entire show. You've missed all of it. So started out by making some, winding some magic balls, like these little guys here, out of some scraps with the yarn winder. Then made an actual modified shell stitch sack uh, with one of the magic balls that looked kind of like tropical um, starburst. Then um, out of one of the other magic balls we wound that had more part of purple in it, um, everybody challenged me to make a teddy bear. So that's what I'm up to right now. We will see how well this turns out. I'm making like a little amigurumi sized teddy bear. Could probably use more. I'm just weaving in a couple of tails. Uh, sorry guys, I'm really concentrating here. <laughs> I'm really focused on what I'm doing. I'm trying to weave in a little tiny tail to kind of cinch up a little space and uh, it's requiring all of my attention. All right, here we go. Almost done. Almost done and I'll show you the two legs. Then I'm going to move on to the arms. Membership milestone! Now my little teddy bear's got pants and one sock. So there we go, little head, two legs so far. I've got to shape up the legs a little more so his feet look a little more flat. Looking good. So maybe I like the pants. So he's got pants, he's got one sock on. He's got pants and one sock. Yeah. <laughs> um, once you, when you finish something, you can sort of squeeze all of its stuffing back into a better position. So I'm going to worry about shaping this completely when I'm done. But now I'm going to start into some arms. Jury's still out of whether or not I think this is going to work or not, but let's see here. So start with the arm, same thing, cinch circle. I'm going to start with uh, eight. I'm going to keep everything on a base of eight. So cinch circle, eight single crochet into the circle. You said there was a membership milestone? Yes, from Teresa. Okay. Teresa's been, been a Silk member for 24 months. Thank you, Teresa. Says, has Jada researched interchangeable Tunisian crochet hooks? Um, I haven't done any specific research. Um, a couple people, Teresa included, sent me um, a picture of one at the Etsy shop. Um, some sort of the sets that are out there. Um, I haven't, I, I have to say, I don't, um, 
I have this list of things that I want to look into. Sometimes somebody mentions like a, a you know a particular hook or a set of hooks or uh, a, a brand name or some kind of yarn or something. I'm like, I write it all down. I think, okay, next time I'm sitting down and doing like a little bit of sniffing around the internet, I'll look for them. And then <laughs> time passes and I realize I haven't, I haven't looked into them yet. So no, I haven't looked into any interchangeable Tunisian sets yet. Um, but it is on my list of things to investigate. Interchangeable. Yes. I remember that. Yeah. Mama has a set of interchangeable knitting needles, uh, circular needles, which are the rainbow wood ones, I think. They're really pretty. Is, yeah, it's a big enough number. Right? I don't want them to be, or do I? No, it's a good number. All right, so I started with a cinch circle and eight single crochet into the circle. I'm still just continuing to single crochet in the round. And for the arms, um, I'm just working row upon row upon row of straight single crochet. So every row has eight stitches in it. I'm not doing any increasing. I'm not doing any decreasing. I finally have another color change here. Um, and I'm just going to, I don't know, I'll figure out how long I like the look of the arms, and then I'll let you know how many rows I did. I'm just kind of making this up as I go here. <laughs> some some viewers missed out on the uh, yarn spinning. Yes, we were making magic balls yeah, at the so beginning. We're we going to have to retitle this entire we, video. We were spinning. The, the original plan was to spin magic balls. Mm -hmm. But then everyone suggested making something out of the spun yarn so they could see how it turned out. Yes. And we kind of got sidetracked into, oh my goodness, no. look how cute that little teddy bear. Yes. And, now, and now there's a teddy bear appearing. And then there's a teddy bear appearing. Well, maybe, maybe, bigger, we'll, maybe we'll spin one more ball um, we might. Yeah. If, if there's time. Uh, I'm going to, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to make it 16 single crochet rounds. So start with eight cinch the circle shut and then two single crochet in each stitch all the way around. I'm going to make the arms 16 stitches wide. So 16 stitches around um, as opposed to only eight. This is me designing as I go. This, this way they'll match the legs. I think that's better. Okay, here we go. So, arms. <clears throat> Still don't know if this is going to look right. <laughs> Hope everybody's got something to do while I sit here and figure out this pattern. <laughs> ah, we're all just hanging out. We're just chilling. Hanging out. A little bit of company on a Sunday a afternoon. A little bit of company on a Sunday afternoon or morning or evening, wherever you are in the or world. Or a Monday morning if Vima's Monday morning, still awake. possibly. I don't know if she is, but I don't think Vima stayed up. I, I think she I think I, I think she out. collapsed <laughs> with the, her phone in her hand. <laughs> It's probably leaning on her like shoulder right now. She's <laughs> I'm sure that Vima Vima's not gonna like that when she wakes up tomorrow and <laughs> realizes we're teasing her. So now I'm just single crocheting in the round. Uh, every row has 16 stitches in it for the arm. I think this is better. They're gonna, they're gonna, it'll more closely mirror the size of the legs, which I think on a typical teddy bear, the legs and the arms are usually the same um, circumference. So I think that will look a little bit more like a teddy bear. And I'll see how many rows I need to do here. Boy, I haven't made a complicated little stuffed toy in quite a while. And by complicated, I mean like, you know, more than two parts, basically. Guess we should have stuck with the granny square. <laughs> I don't mind. This is kind of fun. Oh, there's another color change. 
it's uh, it's it's fun, but I just I'm, I'm like, oh wow, I haven't done this in a while. I just can't believe how much of it all like turned out similar. You know what? It's dark, so it's hard to see through your shirt. Now yes. that now I can see that there's three colors there. Yes, yes. But from the screen, I couldn't see it. Yeah, well, uh, if like I say, um, I'll post a photograph um, later today. Yeah, we'll do a nice big photo. So that if you you know pop into the community post area, um, you'll see a photo of it finished, provided I. Again, the grand it. finale. It probably won't have a face, but it'll have ears. Um, Eyes without a face. <laughs> Teddy bears without a face. <laughs> okay, quick, everyone. What song am I attempting to sing? Wow. And who's the artist? Okay. And what year? And no, and you can't use you can't use Google. Going going back. To Eyes the without a teddy bear. <laughs> Teddy bears without a face. I think, I think that's. The Come on, somebody knows out there. Indies. All you, uh, all you uh, boomers and Xers. Eight rooms enough. Six. Billy Idol. Six, eight, eight, eight. Is it Billy Idol? Come on, you don't even know. <laughs> I want to say Billy Idol, but I also want to say the other guy with the cool eyes. Oh, Bowie. Bo David Bowie. I don't think it's Bowie. Is it Billy Idol? Does that sound familiar to you? Actually, you got me. A I few people know. are saying Billy Idol. 1984. Seven, eight, nine, wow. No, White Wedding. That's not. That's not the one I'm singing. <laughs> wow, am I that bad? <laughs> well, that wasn't good at singing. <laughs> It's not White Wedding. I don't think Eyes Without a Face. I don't think those lyrics are in White Wedding. That's the only part I remember. Eyes Without a Face. Definitely 80s. Definitely mid 80s. Okay, 10 rows. I'm doing 10 rows. 10 rows total. So eight. eight Is rows. it called Eyes Without a Face? Because I mean, that's. I'm not even sure what the song is called. Okay, slip stitch to finish. I'm going to finish the arms. I'm going to leave them open. So no, gonna... it's not Elton John. And I'm going to leave a long tail because I'm going to sew the arms to the neck with a tail. So it doesn't need to be that long, but let's do that. And I'll stuff these very mildly. Shell says it is Billy Idol. It is. And what's the title? What's the Eyes title of face, the song? Man. Is it Eyes Without a Face? Or is it Teddy Bears Without a Face? I think it's Crochet Teddy Bears Without a Face. That's the title. <laughs> Do you think Billy Idol even knows what crochet is? Billy Idol's out there watching because, you know, I, mean, every time I bet you Billy Idol's watching right now and he's somebody... about to super chat. <laughs> and then he changes his mind. And he's like, and he's like, like nah, forget it. <laughs> that's the worst. That's the worst cover I've ever heard of. Sues one of my... you for ruining the song. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going to, I'm going to show you guys what I'm up to now. I finished the arm. So here's my little arm. It's just basically a little cylinder. It's a uh, two, two, a row to begin, a row to increase, <laughs> eight rows wide. Teddy bear without a face. I, like that's, I think that's the lyrics. It's, no, it's not. Yeah, well, it is. it is now. It is teddy bears without a face. I think they messed up the print on the album. I'm going to pinch the opening. And then I'm just going to sew it along the edge of the neck using the long tail I left. Um, so I know, don't worry guys, if this turns out, we'll do something proper. I'm just trying to kind of keep you updated on what I'm up to as I go here. I still have no idea if this is going to look good or bad. Thank you to all our wonderful viewers. Um, it is Billy Idol and it is titled Eyes Without a Face. <laughs> it's not Teddy Bear Without a Face. It's not Teddy Bear Without a Face. Uh, I thought it was Teddy Bear Without a Face, but well, that's all I'm gonna I was wrong. I hear it. Although I haven't heard that song in a long time. Someone mentioned earlier that you should put a little patch on the on the legs. I like that idea. A little patch? Yeah, like make it look like a patch. A, a patch. I could probably do That'd that. That'd be cute with like that, like sewn on with a fabric. Like a bandol. Like yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a like a, like a raggedy band doll, or a rag raggedy doll, raggedy doll. Raggedy Ann. Sewing on. Oh, it's been so long since I did one of these. Okay. 
talk about. That's cute. Okay. It's just a lazy Sunday afternoon hanging with the In Stitches fam. Thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. Yeah. Again, with this impromptu live stream. This was impromptu. Didn't know we were going to do it. It, uh, it's been kind of a... It's been kind of nice. Nice, nice day. Mm -hmm. We had a little bit of rain today. It's kind of dark. A little cool. Actually, but it's... not too bad. Yeah. Actually, we didn't get as much rain as I thought we were going to get. They were forecasting way more, but we got just a bit. I kind of hoped that we would get a little bit more, but... Yeah. I like a nice rainy Sunday. It's kind of cozy. Yeah, this is starting to look a little more like it's in proportion. Okay. How's our teddy bear without a face doing? Doing pretty good. I'm going to just pull this in here. The teddy bear, the teddy yarn tuber. Yarn, tu yarn tuber teddy without a face. Yarn tuber that, teddy. That's going to be the title of the... It's the live stream teddy bear. That's going to be the new title of this live stream. Magic balls. I have to and say, it's coming to better, coming together quite nicely. Yeah, now it's starting to look okay. I like, I like the one sock. Okay. I like, I like one sock on and one sock off. I like the one sock too because the other, the other, um, the other because the arm is like I'm just wiggling in this tail here. He needs an umbrella, says Nikki. That'd be cute. Like um, that little bear from um, the UK. Paddington. Paddington. He has little boots. He has little, little boots. rain boots. And boots rain. and a rain hat. <laughs> okay. So that, now we're getting somewhere. Now it is starting to look like there's, so now I need the other arm and it'll start to look more like a little stuff. He's so me. cute. Yeah. So I like the squished little arm there. Yeah. I like that too. Cause they usually kind of look like, you know, um, he looks like he's had way too many cheeseburgers. <laughs> like all at once. Aw. All right. That's adorable. So or he had way too much arm. cake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Making a making a teddy bear from scratch in real time. This is kind of neat. With we might have to alter the title of this live stream. I, I think we might, just so people don't <laughs> click on it going, where? Like, what Teddy is bear this? without a face. <laughs> Jade and Stitches live stream. May Day 2022. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Hang on, I'm counting. All right, there we go. Nine, seven. Four, divided um, by three. We did start with magic balls, so we had fun making some magic balls, and then we made some projects with the magic balls. Hey, it was at the suggestion of everyone watching. It's true. They wanted to see how the magic balls turned out. I guess we could have stuck to just winding yarn for three hours. Could have. I, I did do three. I wound three separate magic balls, but then like turned one into a little sack, and now I'm turning one into a little teddy bear. There you go. So... It's uh Are you making it here? It's the no, I'm working on the second arm. It's the magic oh. of it's the magic of of uh, you know, sitting in real time with everybody. We all get to kind of weigh in on what's what you know, what are we doing here? Well, what's uh What time is it where we are? It is currently 2 minutes to 5 p.m. Eastern. Are you telling me we've been live streaming for 3 hours? What? When did we start? 2. <gasps> what? YouTube's gonna cut us off. <laughs> Actually, I think. How, how's your energy level? I'm you fine. must be exhausted. No, I want to finish. I want to finish. It's the my little... it's my special coffee. It's the coffee. Yeah. I want I want to finish this little guy. I'm actually having. It's a up to you. Time here. You're the queen of crochet. I'm, I'm, so. the, I'm, I'm the queen of this house. You're the crochet guru. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this teddy bear because I'm almost all the way. I'm like. You know, three quarters of the way done. He needs. I thought I would have had a three D printer by now, but <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Feeling a little ripped off. Feeling a little ripped off, are you? <laughs> I, I I know it's it's kind of a it's these are funny live streams. Like when we do these marathons where I you know we just sort of turn it on and we talk or reorganize the craft room or in this case like I'm, I'm sitting here designing and making something from scratch. Like it's I know they're not uh, they're not riveting but <laughs> but 
but I mean, they're kind of, I don't know, they're kind of nice company. I like, I like kind of stumbling into sort of uh, live streams like this. I feel like shout I out to seven peace frogs husband <laughs> for coming, uh, popping in and popping out on hey. the live stream. Everybody knows. Where yeah. So, are. so spouses are popping in on, on, you know, someone watching our live stream. Are you still watching still that? Watching that? Yep. Yes, I am. Do you mind? <laughs> Go do your own thing. <laughs> I'm enjoying Jada crocheting something from scratch. It is kind of fun. Invite your husband Dan. Have him come in, sit down, and grab a drink. Maybe contribute to the chat. Yeah. Say hey. Say hey. What are you What are you working on, husband? What show are you watching? Like, are you watching like uh, you know a football game, or are you like hammering two boards together in the garage? <laughs> Are you putting gas in the car? What's going on? Are you cut the lawn. Fill us in. Did you cut the lawn today? Making dinner. Did you make dinner? Doing yeah, some, I think a few people laundry. mentioned that the hubby was making dinner. Nice. Um, what else? What else is hubby doing? Organizing a, you know, a shelf in the basement or feeding the cat, fixing the, uh, fixing the shower head. You know, guy stuff. Let us know. <laughs> Fill us in. Is this the list of things you'd rather be doing? That you're... <laughs> no, I love sitting here watching you crochet. Especially when I'm getting a 3D printer out of the deal. This uh -huh. is, is going to be great. I've almost finished the second arm and it's all purple. So that's cute. He's got a little, little blue hand and mostly purple. And said her hubby has gone to get her tea from Timmy's. Oh. Well, aren't you wow. fancy pants that, that, special lady? That, that hubby might win the hubby award. I think exactly. hubby should get two points today for that thing. <laughs> Hubby's like, like are you actually occupied? getting okay. into the car and driving. Are you kidding? He's escaping. He's I'm like, I'll go, I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go get you something. Slam. <laughs> 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 And go uh, hello, Hubby. <laughs> gaming on his computer, says oh. Vanessa. I am using what? Uh, what's Vanessa Hubby gaming with? Yes. I've um, I've recently been playing a lot of Elden Ring. Yes, like two hundred plus hours. I can't get enough of Elden Ring. If I'm ever wondering where he is, I know where to find him. <laughs> Jada, Jada recently has been playing. Um, what's your little farming simulator? Uh, it's called Pioneers of Olive Town. Stories and stories. It's a stories of seasons. Story. Sto story, story of seasons. seasons? Yeah. yeah, I think that's it. I've also been playing the new Kirby game on uh, on the Nintendo. That that one's fun. I enjoy that one. Okay, I'm gonna stitch on the other arm. Ah, ha, ha. My husband, my hubby is in the box on the shelf, so he doesn't bother Aww. me. Aww. Is he hanging with you at least? Is, is, is he uh, is he complaining about like you know what you're what you're up to? Is he still is he still complaining? That would be a feat. That would. How many times did I beat Elden Ring? Not even I'm not even close to beating it. Yeah, it beats me. <laughs> Elden Ring beats me to a pulp. <laughs> I, I I've been playing for for a hundred, but a hundred seventy five hours, and I think I've beaten two of the main bosses. Like I've obviously game. beaten a lot of other bosses, but like the main story bosses, I think I've beaten two. It is long and brutal. Yeah, not an easy game, but really, no. really beautiful. Beautifully made. Everyone's chiming in on what their, their husbands are doing. Oh, good. What is everybody's spouse up to this, this Let week? us know. Let us know. What's I'm the, curious. What's the other half up to this evening? Um, Christina's hubby is playing Minecraft. Nice. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, Ida's is watching NASCAR. <laughs> Oh, is that on? Um, we know where Ann's hubby is. <laughs> He's enjoying like 800 donuts in a parking lot at a Timmy's before he gets home. <laughs> Can I get six dozen donuts, please? Oh, and a tea. That's what I would do. Yeah, the tea's required. I would scarf down like 32 donuts and then come back with your like tiny tea. Your tea's right. Here's your tea, hun. Okay. 
This isn't looking too bad. I'm actually... Cozy, cozy uh, Cornelius' husband is making spaghetti and watching Pawn Stars. Pawn Stars. <laughs> oh, Pawn Stars. Yeah, Pawn Stars. Yeah, the, yeah. the reality show. Those are fun. Yeah. Like people manage to... It's like, it's like the Antiques Roadshow. I like that show, too. All right. Two arms on, two legs. Here's my little head. He, he looks like a, a little... Uh, so we've got a little a little person so far. This is great. So this is based on the uh, Baby Dolls of the World ebook that we've got. Um, it's uh, in our Etsy shop. So this this little body is roughly the same, and uh, I think he's looking really cute. Ears now to make some ears. So make a note. Uh, cats is napping. Summer says my hubby has beaten it several times. Show off. <laughs> <laughs> Show off. That's that's uh um you don't really play to beat games like that. I I'm, I'm the same way. I play I love to play Skyrim. I've been playing Skyrim for years. I'm the I, kind of player that goes over to a cliffside and sits there for 30 minutes just like just look, looking, like at, the looking at the view yeah. and like oh, I, I, it's so pretty. I play <laughs> I, I'm a completionist. I'm one of those annoying completionists when I play a video game. If it's like a quest style game, I want to try and do every single quest. No, oh, it's I, I can play the same game for like years. Um let's see here. So much input. This is great. Sandra's hubby's on the couch. Nice. Okay, I'm just I'm experimenting here, guys. I'm starting the ears. I'm starting with a cinch circle, and I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try eight <laughs> half double crochets. I'm gonna see if this looks okay. One, two, three, four, five. Cat asks, do you still play Animal Crossing? Yep. Six, oh seven, yeah. Seven, <clears throat> eight. Um, we got the patch. When was that? Was that in November, December? They 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 did that huge free update, and then there was the DLC where you could um, decorate like the the island, those uh, everyone's um, cottage or something. Oh, uh, yeah, the uh, the tropical. Yeah, um, you were playing a lot back then. Yeah, I was playing a lot of that. Um, um, I yeah, you're like a real agent or something. I need to um, I need to redecorate my entire island for the spring and get ready for the summer. I haven't done that yet. Um, I haven't, I think the last, when's the last time I was in? I can't remember. I like, I like, I, I also like re terrascaping the whole place. I kind of do that a lot. In fact, there's a, I, I'd like to do some really big things. I'd like to move a couple of bridges around and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the hubbies join in and hang out and watch, and other hubbies are like, no yep. way. That's yours. Crochet is not for me, it's for you. You can have it. Maybe if I ring the bell, I'll attract all the... The manly men. The manly men? Why do you think a little tiny... Come here, manly men! <laughs> Watching NASCAR and playing your shooter games. Not too big an ear. How big should a... Maybe I did that too many times. All right. Just experimenting <laughs> on the ear. <laughs> Lori says, I feel like we are having the whose hubby is the best contest. <laughs> hey, it depends on your perspective. Yeah, it does. If you're glad that they're, you know, out, out of the house getting you tea, then that's one perspective. Mm -hmm. If you're glad that they're sitting next to you, you know, pretending to laugh with us, <laughs> that's another perspective. <laughs> it all depends on your perspective. Yeah. I'd say that's a good sized ear. Teddy teddy bears have pretty big ears. For sure. Okay.
I think we're breaking a live stream record here. I'm sure we must be because I. Did we ever go past three hours? Um. Well, I think uh, when we did the uh, when we re redecorated the closet, the closet or I think the, that was the craft room, room. In, in January. Yeah. That was a lot. That was a doozy. <clears throat> All right. So um, the ears. If you're keeping track and making notes. <laughs> If you're not, that's fine too, but I'm still not sure if this is going to be 100% okay or not. Um, the ears, I'm starting with a cinch circle. I'm putting eight half double crochets into the cinch circle and cinching it tight, but I'm not joining. I'm chaining one and I'm turning. So I'm using it as like a half moon. I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. Back to the purple. This is going to be mostly a purple bear. <laughs> Diana's got her her hubby cooking dinner and staining wood for a chair project. Wow. Wow, you had going to get you like, you know, a tea or a snack at the local store. You got a you got a 10 out of 10 there. <laughs> you got a winner. Okay. Here are my little ears. I wanted to make little half moons. So um, I'm gonna try and show that to you. So basically I started with a cinch circle. I did eight half double crochets into it, cinched it nice and tight, chained one, turned, and then worked single crochet, two single crochet, single crochet, two single crochet, all the way back, just to kind of run around that curve a little bit. Um, and that's sort of a half moon. And now I'm just going to curve them a little bit as I sew them to either side of his head. And we'll have a little teddy bear. Oh my gosh, this is actually cute. Okay. Let's see here. Now this is the make or break part. This is the make or break part. Can I sew these ears to his head and make it look make it look even this is the this is the part of amigurumi this is the part of anything if i have to make two things because there's a set like slippers or um <laughs> mittens <laughs> making two identical things is tricky andrea says when i'm at home and crocheting my other half always tries to talk to me when i and stitch counting, and then wonders why I'm ignoring him or glaring at him. <laughs> I swear they wait. You know, you're zipping along, no, no counter required. And the second you do some counting, then, hey, hon, uh... <laughs> <laughs> completely meaningless question that I could have answered myself if I'd only thought for five minutes. <laughs> hey, hon, uh, you think I, uh, you think I should turn the, uh, turn the top on to get a glass of water? <laughs> Did you have to ask me that right now? Why are you listening to me? No, you are ignoring me. I go through this, this uh, wall here. Should I use the door or uh, should I crash through the wall? Why are you asking me this redundant question? <laughs> How am I doing? Yeah, that's pretty good. And, pretty then, accurate, and eh? then the guys walk away going, man, women. I don't understand really. why she's so angry all the time. <laughs> like, I'm just asking a question. <laughs> Hey, we got some membership upgrades and milestones. Wonderful. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out. In our a little delayed on the bell. Super long, long-winded live stream. Um, so let me see here. A big thank you to Vanessa, who has upgraded thank to you, Merino. Thank you. And a big thank you to Anne, the uh, Fresh Timmy's the, Tea lady. The Fresh Tim's Tea. The yeah. Fresh Tim's Tea, who has been a Silk member for 21 months. Thank you. Let's see. Did Anne say yes? Anne says, did anyone celebrate local yard store day, which was yesterday? Yo local We yard did not day? celebrate it. No, I didn't and know And we that were unaware of it. Yeah. Local Yarn Store Day. Did not know that was a thing. We did not know that that was a thing. Thank you for letting us know. That's cute. That is very cute. I wonder if any of our local yarn stores knew that it was local yarn store day. <laughs> All right. 
right. Sewing the ears to the head. Here we go. Can I make this look like an ear? <laughs> Lori says, I'm giving my hubby triple brownie points for going to the craft store to get me yarn today. Even though my yarn already crowds his office space, <laughs> his home office. Well, isn't that wonderful? That's... So your, you have your husband trained so well that he even goes and buys yarn for you. That's some hardcore Here, training. Here's, here's where the extra bounty points That's some in. serious training. Did right he there. get the right one? That's, that's the... I, I remember, I think I sent you to get yarn once. I was looking for... I don't know whether it was blue or gray, or I was looking for something specific, and you came back with like six completely different balls. You're like, I don't know, I don't know what I had. Uh, it's all like, is one of these right? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Hey, I was proud of what I picked I, out. I, I, I'm I, like, I, hey, this is really nice I'm stuff. Like, well, I'll use it all. Good. Okay, well, first of all, it's all wrong, but secondly, <laughs> I love it. I love yarn. It's all wrong, but I'll use it. That's one ear on. I think I like the way that looks. Get the second ear on and then we will do the final reveal here and we'll get everybody to vote on whether or not it's, it looks like a teddy bear. <laughs> on a scale of one to one to 10, yeah. one to five. Does it or does it not look like a teddy bear? So that's ear number one. I have to I have to admit I was expecting more color change. Honestly, so was I. But I not that got, I don't not that I mind. We got I like, all the I, way like, through it I once. like the way the pants turned out for sure. Yeah, I do too. We did get all the way through it once, but uh... Anchored stitch on. Now I gotta try and make this ear look like the other one. Why is this always so difficult? One ear looks bigger than the other. How did that happen? Joanna says, don't forget the stubby little tail. Yeah, teddy bears have tails. Well, bears have tails. Do teddy bears usually have tails? Um, I'm to think of maybe, teddy bears. depends on the teddy bear. I don't feel like they usually put tails on a teddy bear. Um, I feel uh, usually there's just a little seam. Am I, I am I right? I've a tail to a teddy bear. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm thinking about it. I'm like I used to make actual bears, like furry. Bears. Even the ears turned out the same purple. Yes. What I is going a on? A tiny bit of color. That's on it. You, you know what? Undo the whole frog the whole thing and start over. <laughs> gonna make frog a new teddy. We're gonna live stream for twelve hours. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that this oh yeah this is looking pretty even guys i think i've done it i don't know we'll see what you all think we will see what everybody thinks this little ear is so cute okay all right i'm gonna tie these i gotta hide those two little tails that actually i will trim and that I will work in somehow. Kind of knot those together. Weave those tails back into the body. Yeah, bear tails are usually like on a on an actual bear. They are kind of they're very they're small. They're, they're very they're stubby. short they're and stubby yeah. little things. Yeah, it's almost like a knot tail. Yeah. Not a tail. <laughs> yeah, very small little. But I don't feel like they put them on teddy bears usually. I, I, any of the teddy bears I've made in the past, like when I was sewing teddy bears, um, they, I didn't have any patterns and I didn't make any patterns that had tails. The tails weren't included because I guess it, it kind of didn't make the bear sit properly. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm, I'm, and I'm also thinking through my teddy bear collection. I'm not sure that any of my teddy bears have tails either. And 
that's a really good point. Bears in the wild have a little tail. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think... Do... Do Care Bears have a tail? I think they do. Care Bears stare. That's not anything to do with the tail. They stare. <laughs> and they have cute little images on their belly Anybody, buttons. Anybody have a Care Bear handy? I, do they have tails? Something tells me they do have a little tail. Is that, is that in my imagination? There we go. One teddy bear. Ba-ba! <laughs> A magic, adorable. A magic ball teddy bear. He's very dark. A much better lit photograph, and I will send a photograph with a little face on it in a little while. We'll everybody. post it. We'll post it to everyone yeah. so they can see it up close. It'll, it'll be our Sunday evening. Our Sunday evening post. This is oh my gosh. I think I think he turned out great. So definitely looks like a teddy bear to me. A little over six inches or fifteen centimeters tall. I think he's super cute. He's cute. I like. He just him. needs a little face. He just needs a little face. And I like maybe the patch. Maybe a patch somewhere. At some point, a little patch, a little maybe a maybe a little tiny heart. He's adorable, a little heart yeah. like a Care Bear. Ah, I think that turned out pretty cute, actually. It I'm looks pretty, awesome. Pretty pleased with that. That that is basically a small version of the teddy bear, a smaller, simplistic version of the teddy bear pattern we have in our shop. It's also very similar in construction to the um, the little happy happy dolls of the baby dolls of the world ebook uh, pattern that we've got in our shop. It's um, not tricky, but I think I think I will write that up. I made my notes. Let me just make sure I've got my ears here. Do yeah. You're getting some high scores here. <laughs> high scores, ten out of tens. Very simple, very simplistic. I have to figure out a little face. Um, obviously, this would be cute. The fluffy yarn or I'm um, thinking even like a velvet yarn this a velvet yarn would make an amazing teddy bear using this pattern um, but honestly if you're just using up scraps I think he looks really cute when the, with the with the, the way the yarn worked out and obviously we'll show you a better photograph in the community post uh, later today but the way the way the magic ball worked out I there's kind of a neat a neat random but even distribution of the color all over his little body. I kind of like the way that happened. It looks really neat. So he just needs a little face, and then I'll take a little photograph and uh, we'll post them. We'll post them in the in the in the community post for everybody. Um, other things we'll do. We'll we'll repost the login information to the family members page on the website. We'll post that um, a little while later. We'll make sure any pertinent links are in the description box of this video. So um, I'm thinking in particular, maybe this, maybe the shell stitch, but this is sort of a neat kind of augmented version of it. I'm still considering, I think I like that. I like that tall. It might even look even cuter if it's shorter, but. Um, and I think we mentioned, oh, knotting, knotting in new balls of yarn. We have an, an old sort of quick tip on how to sort of easily and quickly tie in a ball of yarn if you're running out of yarn while you're working or if you want to make like the simple little uh, magic balls that I was working on today I'll link that uh, we'll link that in the in the description box down below a little later too um, and that's it really thank you all so much for hanging out with us this long if you made it this far <laughs> thank you kind of a very low-key casual sort of live stream this afternoon um, not bad for, uh, for just hanging out, made some, rewound some yarn. So that my yarn collection looks a little neater and tidier. I might have to rewind this ball now that I've worked through half of it. Made a little stuffed toy, made a little, a little bag. Not bad. Not bad at all. He's not going to stand up on his knee. Oh, maybe he will. I'll stand him up here. Hmm? No, yes, no, no. Mm -hmm. Too slippery. Oh, there he stood. There, perfect. There we go. Yeah, so um, everybody take care. We'll see you Friday. It's our totally Tunisian May Square this Friday. And um, until then, have a fantastic week. Stay safe, stay crafty. Uh, keep an eye out for some of the photographs we're going to post later today in the community page. Um, if you want to see how the little bear turned out in better lighting. I know it's not so easy to see right now. And um, yeah. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for hanging out. Bye, Bye. everyone. We'll Look. see you on Friday. Lovely long afternoon. Yeah. Have a great day. Bye, everybody. Take care. And uh, thanks for hanging out. <laughs>